in society, as men, we seem to draw our value from the affirmation that we get from women. This is gonna sound really incel, and I don't mean to make it that way, but this is just facts, okay? You, you can are. have like a bunch of guys that are like chilling, and they're like making fun of each other, and they're like hanging out, blah, 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 blah. But then a girl enters the room, and now the energy between the guys can get a lot different. Because now there is like some type of competition there, and it's not the same as it was before. The type of like insults and making fun of guys, now you have like something to kind of prove. Do they even like the girl that they're hitting on or they're talking to? Take that clown face off. I want to talk about the Hassan beef. Oh Ooh. God, oh come on, why? Can you make Gusano a banned word, please? Oh my God, dude. Oh, yikes, dude. I, I know exactly where this, uh, where this take is coming from. It generated from a specific community where people are like, uh, uh, people, uh, want to make it, uh, out to be a, want to make it out to be a fucking like slur or something. It just means worm. Okay. It's a, it's a term that, uh, leftist South Americans use against, uh, other South Americans and Latinos that uh, side with Americans, American imperialism. Uh, it's like, it's the... It's like saying you're, you're uh, what's the term? How, how do I describe it? It's like a lighter version and not as popular a, a version as uh, uh, Uncle Tom, okay? It's like saying you're a traitor. Wow. Because I'm everyone's be, be doing be brief it. I'm if I can participate in any of this. I don't know about any. Beef. You wanna? We don't have to if you don't wanna. Right now, you and I just. Thirty second rundown. You and I just look pretty. Don't worry. You and I just chill. Let them go. Go ahead, infrared. Okay, I don't think that shit is a slur, man. I don't think it's a slur. Here's the don't issue: say it. Would somebody call me a gusano if they didn't know that my mom was Cuban? Yeah, but. Well, no, they wouldn't, right? But it's because oh. of your politics. It's a no, it's not because of my politics. It's because of my politics and my ethnic background, right? But, okay, hold on. What about what about Chud? Chud has no tie to any country or whatever. That's just a political thing, right? Yeah, it's America. No, you no, you got Chuds in like the UK and like shit like that. But there's some kind of word for like the Trump supporter that they have. What if they had a word for like a Midwestern Trump supporter? You know what I mean? If there was like a word for, um, okay, I'm gonna go on a hypothetical here because I don't know this is true, but like, let's say that you're in the UK and somebody finds out that you support like the Tories or some shit, okay? And let's say that they find out that you're from America and they start calling you like a, a, a redneck Tory supporter. Like maybe that would be comparable because they only do it because they know you're from America. I would consider that to be like some type of slur because it's just based on your like background. I, I don't know, I just think yeah. it's kind of weird. Okay. It, it, like, I mean, I'm not, and to be clear, because I'm not a fucking pussy, like, I don't care about fucking slurs. And I think there are times yeah. where slurs could be okay. I think there are times you could call, like, a black person could be, like, an Uncle Tom. Or there might be, like, a Cuban that is legitimately, like, a Gusano, right? If you're, like, a Cuban that's older and you supported, like, fucking Batista and shit, and you thought that, like, the revolution, and you call, like, I think you could legitimately call somebody, like, yeah, you're a fucking Gusano, dog. Like, no. I'm sorry. But, yeah. I think, I think, like, if you, if you, if you, if you just like, like if, to you yeah, if you just take, like, a because I'm just, like, a liberal, right? I, I don't have, like, a yeah. strong stake in Cuba. So, to call me a Gusano, you're just, like, reaching really hard. That's my view of it. I just, weird. to be clear, yeah, also, no, no, I don't care. I, like I, I, I agree that it's kind of weird to call you that i would i you know personally i wouldn't call you that mm -hmm. but in general though like it's i just don't think it's a slur you know i mean i okay is it, is it, it could it could be a way to try and like get at you just because of your background but it's it's kind of a stretch in my view for, to call it a slur you know sure what's yeah. up sarita what were you saying I'm sorry. I'm just like actually not actually familiar with the term. Um, is that typically has that been looked at by anybody as being somewhat? So of a slur? basically, a long time ago in the this little country of Cuba, there was like yeah, a yeah. I've been to Cuba a couple of times. Oh, crazy! There Thank was you, John. there was a there was a revolution, and a guy named Fidel Castro took over, yep, and some people started to leave the island, and the first batch of people that left, and a lot of them were people yep. that belonged to the political party prior to that. And the name that Castro gave to some of these people that were supporters of like the old regime and people that right. were living, he called them gusanos. They're like Before basically the socialist regime. Exactly. They, they're like they're traitors. You're Cuban traitors to okay. your own people. That's like the word. Exactly. But now people will look at like Cuban Americans in the U.S. or anybody in the U.S. that is of a descent of like sometimes any South.
South American country. And if you're like anti-socialism, mm -hmm. they'll call you a mm -hmm. gusano, which is like kind of mm -hmm. weird because it's just like you're reaching into somebody's background to like find a slur to describe their current and, politics. And it doesn't. Li li little yeah. Steve did. Uh, I haven't been following. Did uh, Hassan walk it back? No, but he, that's he's way too ego driven when it comes to me. He's never going to walk anything like that back. Oh, wow. But I don't I just don't think like it's. It's a political group that they're talking about. They're talking about a political thing. It's a political kind of phenomenon. Yeah, but it's that's what I don't understand is I don't fit the political definition. Like, for instance, let's say yeah. that we're playing like Street Fighter and I like lose to like a black guy and I just call him like an Uncle Tom. Like that doesn't make any sense at all. I'm literally just saying it because he's black. There's like no tie to any like definition there at all. That's why I compare it to like, like if we were having an argument maybe specifically about Cuban politics and I was saying like, well, as a Cuban descendant, actually, I think I would have supported Batista's regime or something. And then somebody wants to like, oh, well, you're like a gusano or you're like a, a descendant of a gusano. Then like, it's a little bit more legitimate, but we're just talking like US politics or whatever. Like that's just a really weird thing to say. That's, that's why I'm, that's why I think it's weird. I call destiny a fucking gusano because he is. Oh, but he's Cuban. This motherfucker has blue eyes. Not that it necessarily matters, but I can definitely tell you that because of the because I can definitely tell you that his family owned fucking a plantation. His family definitely owned fucking slaves. There's a big tell. The two of you right, are, but the right? Cuban the Cuban Americans you're talking about who are super against socialism. That's I think that's kind of different though because the, it's not just that they're against socialism because they're like liberals or whatever. It's like it's because there's a anti-Castro or whatever anti-Cuban government type of, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand, but you got to understand. Ugh, fuck, I don't want to get like super hard into this. There are people, there are brown people that come from brown countries, that come from South America, that come from the Caribbean, that like their countries were fucking, they fell the fuck apart. Now you can blame it on US imperialism or blame it on capitalism, but like they left socialist regimes. Shit happened in Venezuela, they got fucked. Shit has happened in Cuba, that's gotten fucked. It's not all capitalism, fault, and they hate, for whatever reason, they don't like those no, countries. No, right? I'm not, so, I'm like, not it's trying not, you to can't, describe. Yeah, so I'm saying like some people have like legitimate saying, grievances from where they came from. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, All what's I'm so saying interesting is, that... is, Steven, when you go politics mode, you're so based. Man. Oh my go God, ahead. John, I hate you so much. So, like, the thing is, though, whether those people are good or bad people is, is irrelevant. The thing to me, though, is that it's a political phenomenon of people who come from these uh, socialist uh, countries for whatever. Maybe it's not because the countries fall apart, maybe it's because they had their property expropriated or maybe they had some kind of thing with you know that happened there's a whole lot of reasons right that maybe they sided with counter-revolutionary death squads for example just you know whatever to it could throw be it the out. case sure there's, there's a yeah there's a range of but gusano means like reasons. traitor it means like traitor to your people that's what it means so like it's it's pretty loaded in the Cuban. Yeah, I mean, I guess in the community, that's that's how it that's the mm -hmm. meaning. It and there's like there's either, there's either two ways to look at it. Either one, you view it as ethnic, even though Cuban isn't really an ethnicity, which makes it kind of a racial slur. Or two, it's not an ethnicity, which Cuban isn't. In which case, why are you calling me a gusano? I'm not Cuban. I'm fucking American, 100. percent I was born on U.S. toil to two U.S. parents. Like I'm not I'm not Cuban. Like yeah, yeah, I agree with that. But I'm just saying that when we're talking about communities who hold specific political views, like they're super anti-socialism or whatever, I don't think it's a slur to ascribe that to- Motherfucker, you said that maybe. 10 fucking times and you're going in circles, bro. I gotta cut this. Listen, my question is, you guys have a fundamental disagreement about dating. You, Infrared, I heard you say recently, you find Steven's lifestyle kind of degenerate. You didn't say Steven, but just hooking up with a lot of people. Degenerate. Well, you said hooking up with a lot of people is not. Yes, I said. I don't know if I could say the word if I'm allowed to say, it, but I coined it an actual term. Don't it's say. Don't dictionary. fucking get me in trouble. Just speak. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the the basic idea is that you know we all kind of look down on people who can't get any, right? But there's some people getting thousands, but it's the same thing because they have no standards. So it's pretty much the it, it, it's you're becoming a kind of uh, jellyfish, and it's actually the same thing. It's full circle. Dude, you go from having getting zero to thousands. It's the hey, same Steve, thing. Yo, Steve Irwin, I gotta stop you. Say it without mentioning jellyfish. We don't know what you're saying. No, I'm just saying like a very kind of. Uh, you already said it. Why can't you say it? 
Jellyfish isn't a bad word. What do you mean? No, I I know it's not a fucking bad word, you idiot. I'm saying you've already spoken about this on stream. Why are you kind of going around the topic with jellyfish? Let's just get to it. Like, say say what you think. Yeah, what is this? Are you allowed to use Steven's got bedtime. You, okay, but what he's trying to say is, he's trying to say is, right? He doesn't agree with Steven's lifestyle. Wait, okay, wait, Steven, what, what is your view on, like, um... Do you think that being with thousands and maybe even hundreds of people, yeah, hundreds is too much. Hundred, don't you think that kind of like thousands? Maybe the oh, are you high, bro? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> this is a fucking. Before you said on stream, I said that it was okay. Go have. You need some. All right, use code John for Gorilla Mind. Get ten percent off. You need to wake up. You need some caffeine or something. Just ask him quickly. Like we don't. We don't. This is not scuff podcast where everybody talks slow. Like, this is intense. Let's go. What are you currently sleeping what, with? What are you asking me? Dude, Steven's not going to beat you up. You can have a disagreement with him. What okay, you want me to be mean? No, you don't have to be mean. I've already been mean. Go ahead. Just disagree. Yikes. I okay, want to so hear you guys talk about this, you fucking caveman. Okay, okay, Steven. Why do, you think, why do you think it's better to sleep with a bunch of people instead of one person? Go ahead. Is that a question for me? Yeah. Oh, how can you say that? His girlfriend he doesn't should. live on this continent. Well, okay. <laughs> I wrong? like. I'm not, I'm not wrong, right? Melina's in, in Sweden, right? Uh, in Sweden, yeah, for now, yeah. Um, okay. I like having sex. Having sex with different people is fun because every person is a different experience. So more people means more experiences. It's as simple as that. But you're saying there's nothing emotional involved. There's nothing like that. Never, ever. There can be emotional stuff involved, yeah. But generally not with like casual sexual hookups for me. If it's like a girl that I know that's just like a sexual relationship, then there's not like emotional stuff. Like with Melina, it is emotional. Or for somebody like I'm dating or whatever. Or for maybe somebody I'm a little closer to, sure. You. But don't you think you lose something every single time? Damn. A little bit of calm, I guess. Everything? I mean, what do you mean? Like what? <laughs> <Is it calm>? <laughs> like, <laughs> what am I don't losing? Don't you mean you lose like a part of your soul basically? I, I, if I have, I haven't seen it unless it's splattered across her face. No, I don't think so. What? I'm seeing it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, 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 no, I don't. I don't believe okay. in like any like soul being lost or some shit. Like to, when, having sex with somebody. No. Okay. Uh, moving on to the second question. Now, let me ask a question. Like, do you think sexuality is the most visceral part of our human existence? Whoa. I think it's up there. Probably, yeah. Because like, like you're sharing more, more, even more than food. This is gonna. I feel like we're getting into like some Fight Club discussion, but I may. I don't have any experience really in this, but like maybe fighting might be more visceral, like an actual like. Well, not, to kill I'll tell you person. why. Yeah, go. I'll tell you why. If a man punches you in the face, you lost honor a little bit, but not too much, right? <laughs> but <laughs> if you the dumbest fight, shit I've ever heard in my life. But, but but that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. In my okay, life. I'm saying if you get. Up. If you get beat up, bro, I'm a bouncer, bro. How are you gonna say that to me? If bro? you get beat up and you lose, I'm saying if you lose a fight, yeah. If you lose a fight, you lose. You don't lose honor, but it doesn't look good, you, right? You said the word punch, so I've been sucker punched. Okay, okay, okay. Lawyer Andy, chill. All right, okay. you said punch, so if I get punch, if Serena comes and beats the shit out of me, I lose ten percent. Okay, five hundred dollars in the chat, y'all. It's not too late. What? It's does my, dex does my dexterity go down this way? Well? It's nowhere close if you get disrespected in a sexual way. What? See what I'm saying? You think sleeping with multiple women is disrespectful to the guy? He's disrespecting no. himself. No, listen to what I'm saying. If a guy disrespects you sexually, it's way worse than any amount of damage they could do in a fight. Yeah, I, so the reason why... Oh, so, so you're, oh, sorry, just understand your perspective one more time. You're saying that when a guy sleeps with multiple women, he's disrespecting those women, not himself. Is that what you're saying? No, no, I think he's just saying that like if you get made fun of. So like, let's say there's no. two let's say there's two ways you can be attacked. A guy can either punch you in the face or a guy right. can call you like or a guy can call you like a virgin or have a small dick or whatever, right? Most guys right. would probably rather get punched in the face cuz the right. the sexual insult. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, wait. wait, wait, wait. There's a better there's better examples. Yeah, okay, you use examples. a different example, right? We can't use them, I don't think, but yeah, Oh my god, examples. you guys are so chained. Okay. I agree with you that those things can be more damaging. That, but I don't know if that's an intrinsic thing or that's because, like, in society, as men, we seem to draw our value from the affirmation that we get from women. That's like a really male centric thing. Listen, Destiny, mm -hmm. sexuality 
has always been the most fundamental, most visceral part of our humanity since the dawn of time. Doesn't matter what society. Sure. But what about it? I'm saying it's not just it's not just a society thing. There's something more fun. That's that's how people are produced. That's literally where well, I'm, people. I'm just come answering from. the terms of like what would be more, what would be worse for you is like some sexual degradation versus like some physical attack degradation. Like obviously, sexual is way worse. Well, I don't. I, but I disagree. I wouldn't say that. I don't give a fuck what somebody says about me sexually because I don't draw my like my self worth or value it doesn't come from other people approving of me sexually. Tell you something, Destiny. There are sexual dynamics you you don't even know about when your conflicts with Hassan. Those are alpha male sexual dynamics. You're not even aware of them. <laughs> oh my God, John. Yeah. What, is, what are we? Yeah. What are we doing in here. I yeah. hold on. I just want to say, chat and DGG. You guys own me. You guys own. This is the best shit on Twitch right now. Keep going. Let's go. Let's go in for it. I'm saying even if you claim you don't care about it, it's something still working. There's some kind of language, some kind of unwritten, unspoken conflict that's going on unconsciously that you don't even know about. I, you know what? Okay, I don't expect you to believe me, and and I actually, I really, truly don't. And you your words, and, yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 I would agree with you most of the time. I really think that my engagement with these topics is way different than the norm but like for 99 and you know what everybody would say that i understand that too you don't have to believe me but i i would agree with you a lot of the time that those types of interactions are probably taking place under the surface for sure I, that's probably the case some sexual energy between two alpha males decking it out against not, each yeah other. so like it's not in terms of like not in terms of phrasing it like that but like um i i'm trying to think of an example you can have like Fuck, this is gonna sound really incel, and I don't mean to make it that way, but this is just facts, okay? You, you can are. have like a bunch of guys that are like chilling and they're like making fun of each other and they're like hanging out, blah, 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 blah. But then a girl enters the room, and now the energy between the guys can get a lot different because now there is like some type of competition there and it's not the same as it was before. The type of like insults and making fun of guys, now you have like something to kind of prove. It's a little, it gets yeah. a little different. Now they're on stage. Yeah, kind of. Cause now even if they're, even if they're not trying, they're like, is like some type of competition. Yeah. I think it's I, stupid. I don't like it or whatever, but that does seem to be the case. I hate it. You, I hate, I hate you ever add a girl to a group chat and then four out of five guys just start Oh, they try try and look tougher and cooler. Oh my God! You want you want a funny oh, example? Man. So I so I like to be able to go around. I actually discovered this cheat code. Okay, God, this sounds so insulty. I'm trying not to do this. Okay, but I discovered a cheat code. I can't hang out in any Discord rooms because as soon as I show up, people start piling in like, Oh, Destiny, oh, it's like, okay, yeah, whatever. I found the cheat code. I can actually go in Discord rooms and be a normal human if I join a Discord where there's like a couple girls present because nobody gives a fuck about me anymore. They're all trying to talk to the girl and show up yeah, for the girl. Yeah. True. Yeah. Okay, now, now, here's the kicker. Yeah. If sex, we agree, sexuality is the most fundamental, most important thing, right? right? Mm -hmm. Don't you think the physical act of having sex has psychological implications for you unconsciously that you're not aware of, but I, drastically alter you at the most fundamental level of your oh. soul? So like, I, and again, I hate to say this because everybody would say this, but I don't think that I process it like that. I genuinely think a lot of my experiences are really far from the norm, but for most people, I would agree with you. So like, and this is a conversation and this is a disaster that I've had over and over again where I'll talk to a girl, hey, like hooking up is cool. This is all it is for me though. Like I'm serious, like 100%, like it's nothing more. And she'll be like, yeah, that's cool. That's chill, that's fine. I'm cool, I'll roll with it or whatever. And then like three or four fucks later, a couple hangouts later, like now shit is really fucked because they're starting to get in like over what they'd want to be in. Yeah. That happens a lot. Yes, yeah. I understand. That. There's a Look. scientific reason for that. When you have sex with somebody, when you exchange those, your pheromones change, your hormones change, your hormones actually change. And a girl who has sex with a guy mentally and psychologically, whether she wants to admit it or not, she's preparing herself to you know what I'm saying? She's automatically looking down that road. Even you if can she say that, she's trying not to. You can say that for girls, but I will say, happens to guys too. Guys will enter friends with benefits, relationships with girls, and then the guy will mm -hmm. fall really hard for the girl too. Mm -hmm. I and, think it and is- And they'll get yeah. so mad when they find out that you are also sleeping with another guy. Yep, 100%. They will start to go crazy. <clears throat> That's when they why... think about the fact that they're not, you're not just for them, Oh my God, it's uh -huh. over. I, like, and I say this all the time because unfortunately people will copy the shit that I do or whatever. Like I recommend for most people, I'll tell people, friends oh, with on. benefits- Copy the shit that you do as in like, 
go call the same girl that you called or no 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 like a lot of people watch me like oh my god i want to do open relationships i want to be polyamorous oh, like oh my god and gosh. i'm telling people most of you can't do it it's not like and it's not because you're worse or it's not because you're not like a player or whatever it's just because most people's brains aren't wired for that type of shit and if you try to do casual sexual relationships one of two things is going to happen the other person is going to catch feelings or you're going to catch feelings and that's going to happen 99.99 percent of the time it is incredibly rare where it doesn't happen and yeah i find a lot of people try to go down that road and they end up getting like they mentally fuck themselves doing it so let me tell you why that's all copium okay mm -hmm. i have you figured out destiny okay you are the way you are i could have been like that too when i was in high school you are the way you are because you have displaced the primordial sexual reality of your unconscious onto politics so you don't care about all this personal shit because all of the shit is happening when you're debating about politics, when you're thinking about politics, when your mind is focused on that level, that's where all of the real type of like, you've just displaced it basically. You haven't actually gotten rid of Whoa. it. Whoa. Okay, I John, totally disagree, question. but okay, go ahead. Do you think, John, do you think it's possible to have multiple relationships with multiple partners and not catch feelings? Are you capable of doing that I or do you catch feelings? I think, I think that open relationships don't work and mr dr k he says it in a polit politically correct way but he also agrees and a lot of clinicians will agree and a lot of freaking psychologists will agree and it's just a known fact but there is these steven logic lord types that can make it work but he is the he is not the rule he is just an example right think just, i, I kind of disagree like i don't think that open relationships can't work i have been in multiple open relationships and i can tell you that usually the issue is not the open relationship itself it's that people can't play by the rules they set for themselves and it's really like that like people okay. literally they think they want something they don't they think they know that what they're capable of they are not Okay. People don't know themselves, bro. Like that's why it doesn't work. It's not because you can't have an open relationship. And here is like, I'll, I'll even counter this because you call me a logic lord. I when I was in my mid early twenties, I was a logic lord, but I'm not now. I'm not. I'm not that stupid. I don't think anybody can be a logic <laughs> lord, right? Even if you think you're not emotional, or whatever, that shit will impact you. The best yeah. example of this is people that will try to logic lord themselves into threesomes, and they'll try it one time with their girl. And then afterwards, they are not only are they destroyed, but the relationship is actually done. They can't they can't do it anymore because a they've seen them. Will end them. If you're yeah, and that's and unfortunately, it sucks to say it, but the only way you can really know if you can handle it is to try it because you have no idea what you can think about somebody fucking your girl or somebody fucking your guy, but like to see it happening and to see them respond to it happening and to see and to be there, that's a totally unimaginable experience. Even and the only way you can know is. Girl. Yeah. Even when it's a girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it will end a relationship quick. Guys what think they want that fantasy, bro. Well, hey, well, hold on. Mm -hmm. no, not all guys. All right, some threesomes are fun as fuck. Okay? If guys, you can handle no, it, all right? It is a lot of fucking fun. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I'm going to disagree and push back a bit because uh, working at the club, a lot of these rich guys will be like, you got to meet my wife. And I'm like, well, what did she do, you know? But they were really into putting me into that scenario. There are types that, like, they enjoy watching. That there exists. could be, but you're talking, like, if you're talking, like, older guys, like, why is it, they've probably gone I, through enough to I, know, like, okay, I'm, like, 35, I know I like this, right? I know I can do this. So that, that's, like, or 40 or 50, or they, they know oh. that by that point. Okay. What do you I've think seen you on the side. I, I'm sorry. I, your name is Raid? Who? Huh? Sorry, what's your name? I'm so sorry. I'm a, a what? You don't know who I am? I'm so sorry. I'm I'm in he's, my own little he's, bubble. He's, he's Vosh's brother. You know Vosh. <laughs> oh Vosh. my god. Bro. I don't know who that is either. Oh, don't start with this bullshit. Okay. I don't know who that is either. Um, John, hey, Fred, you gotta do this. Your podcast. Vosh, Vosh is one of the best Minecrafters in the game, dude. Uh, if I go ahead. In so Fred. basically, this whole thing about threesomes. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna just. I'm an honest guy, so I'll be honest. I'm a little bit hypocritical. If so, I okay. If it's a girl that I'm not. So if I really care about a girl, I would never want to do a threesome, right? But if I have a kind of looser relationship or whatever, it would be kind of nice as a guy with two girls. But I'm hypocritical because I would never, ever, even even if even if it's not serious, even if it's just casual, another guy, fuck no. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna admit I'm hypocritical. You what know, if it's but, Drake? Uh, Hold on. What if it's Drake? Bro, fuck Drake. Drake? <laughs> Drake? Yo, but come on. Fuck if it's, no. if it's, 
if it's Drake, you wouldn't you wouldn't be like, hey, you know, let's do it. No, nah, dude. You seem very wholesome in Fred. Me? You seem like a very wholesome guy. <laughs> really? Wow. Right on, the positions that you're taking seem very like. So tell me, is it from a wholesome perspective, or do you feel like when you're dating somebody, do you feel a sense of ownership over that person? Like they're for you, they're yours. No, no, no. It's well, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's like um, it's basically like that's my girl. That's that's like a test of my um own personal dignity. You know what I'm saying? In a way, like. Uh, the idea no, of another yeah. guy getting with your girl that, and your you know? face is disrespectful to you. You're saying like when you yeah you know, yeah that image. Yeah. Not Why, do you like, feel a sense well. of ownership in Fred with your partner? No, if yeah, uh, you know, I don't own nothing, but usually they're they're okay. They understand that, and you know, they they want they want a guy who thinks that way. That's the thing. Like I've never met a girl who I've like um, had anything with that didn't like that didn't actually like that. You know? Yeah, I've never I've never met a girl that doesn't want me jealous. I've just That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, where are you guys finding these girls? What the fuck? But it is interesting. Find girls who are freaky who just say, hey, you know, where's another guy for a little threesome? How would that make you feel? Fuck it's no. Ne- it's it's <laughs> never been brought up to me. That's Yeah. If, never... if, if I was asked that, that would end everything. Just if... by asking me, it would end everything. <laughs> what, what you Cause you're super everything? nice. Like, fuck. This like, girl I would never speak to another them guy's again. Dick. If, <laughs> if a girl asked me if, if uh, they wanted to bring another guy, that would be enough for me to never speak to them again. Completely. Yeah. I, 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 I would, I'm gonna disagree a little bit. I would, if she asked me, can I bring another guy? Before like saying fuck no, I would ask like, what is his viewer account? Like, what are, what are we talking here? <laughs> is he gonna gift you subs first? <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? All right, Serena. I'm wondering, do you like jealous guys? While we're on the topic, dude, who likes a jealous person? That's a fucking headache, guys or girls. Mm-hmm. What? That's you, like I know healthy, that a lot of a listen, healthy I, amount. Okay. Yes. He's saying he has a point. There is a certain something where it's like if you get a little side eye, you know, you say, oh, you know, this guy is like, bro, you know what I've had, bro, when a guy has been jealous with me, they tend to go crazy inside their mind and they tend to actually like, bro, like when I was doing, okay, small example, it's a pass, so I'm just going to go there. I was dating this guy, not even really officially dating him. Dude, I went to Cannes Film Festival and I was like doing the whole red carpet thing, a lot of PR, a lot of fucking... This dude went so crazy in his mind. I literally did not sleep with anyone else on that on that that trip. I went to Salt Lake City, wherever I was, or, 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 I don't remember where it was. Literally go there, come back, didn't do anything, right? Just taking my sweet time, whatever. This guy, when I was gone, slept with so many girls, and my friends told me about it. And when I got back, I was like, holy fuck, like, this guy went crazy in his mind. Because <laughs> he was so afraid and so jealous about the idea that I might be with somebody that he went and did it anyway. So it's like, do you really want a guy who's going to be so, like, jealous? And I feel like jealousy, to a certain extent, can sometimes be boiled down to, I don't want to say insecurity, but in a sense, yeah, it either has to stem from, I mean, what's what the, could that possibly stem from? It's fucking so, insecure, of, like, hardcore ownership. insecurity. So I have, hardcore insecurity, like, I have a way to, like, um, or it could the baseline. Be, it could just be human nature. But no, no, no. I have human nature be insecure I have, sometimes. I have a way of actually sure. separating the bad kind of jealousy from a good kind, right? So with a good kind of jealousy, it's all in your proximity. Like, it's when you're with her, and it's when you're being confronted with information. The bad kind of jealousy is when you go out of your way to look for shit and think when there's nothing there. I think, like, the way that this would play out in terms of actions, the good kind of jealousy, in my opinion, is, like, when you're a little bit playful with it. And, like, you know at the end of the day that she's with you and you're with her and you're not actually threatened. As soon as you start to feel actually threatened, all the fun disappears. If you're out hanging out with your girl or whatever and you see that she's, like, talking to some dude and then, like, you run into her, like, two or three minutes later and you see her and you, like, grab her by the waist. You're like, hey, I saw you talking to somebody, blah, blah, blah. You're, like, playful with it because, like, you know shit's not going to happen. That type of interaction is fun, okay? But the, like, you, like, you know, kind of wake up from your slumber and you turn around and your boyfriend is, like, going through your fucking phone all the fun is gone that's not fun at that point that's not sexy that's not cool that's just a crazy jealous possessive dude that's not going to let you have like fucking co-worker friends that are guys now i don't understand why a lot of guys would be like yo you know she's texting other guys and stuff what do i do i just if i was in that situation i don't think i've ever told a girl hey you can't text him and stuff. i just leave and block her like why do people 
you know, why do people think they, you, you're going to go change someone? Hey, you're not allowed to be talking to other people. We've been married for three years. I don't really get that part. Like, it's done. If she does that, it's over. It's confusing to me too. Like, what are, what are the parameters around that question? Like, what is, you know, there's so many different kinds of jealousy. It is kind of confusing to me, like, on a certain sense. Like, where do you draw the line? Like, where do you even tell people to think about If she pokes it down on Facebook, you poke the pokes... pause button. Okay, Fools, are you on Facebook yeah. like that? Well, I'm MindSpace, whatever, you know, sometimes bitch shoot, Steven's on there. Or Steven's on DLive, I think, though. But I, I'm, I'm saying if she pokes a guy on Facebook, I will poke the block button. You know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, so, yeah, John, you're basically saying she cannot well, have any communication of any sort so with just you have to poke. i mean it, it's never been a problem before like i honey i'm home oh you're like talking to random dudes that that's never happened what the fuck is that like you guys act like this is normal it's not normal you're just not studs you don't okay, have you're not charismatic if, you don't have right. anyone lusting John, for you and another thing yo mo hold on, no, 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 no. Get Most, with hold a on. guy i mean a girl if you're telling your chat to get with a girl who is helping pay for the bill she has to inevitably be working in the workforce if that girl is working in the workforce it is a totally unrealistic expectation to also have her be unable to communicate with the male species no i didn't like, i don't care if she works how can she be living in society having co-workers getting along in her work okay, environment I think you're missing the point the, the without poke... being able to communicate okay, look, with guys look the this is the hypothetical okay when i said poke i meant flirting and stuff but i did it in a cute uncouth way for chat to be like oh my god lol. i'm saying if she's flirting with a guy you're physically thinking of her poking someone on facebook facebook's not even real anymore what are we talking about if she's flirting with some other even. dude if she's exploring options behind your back okay that's, neat. that's a very easy block I know you don't want to hear this because oh, she's is your... looking for more excitement outside of the relationship. She's feeling oh, like she oh. needs a little spice. This is if why I only do open good. relationships. Fuck all this shit. As soon as a girl starts telling me like you can't talk to somebody, like fuck that, fuck you, I'm it's done. A cop out. Like the you easy call it a cop out, but like my girl wants to talk to other people. Fuck, it. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. Like it, like the way that I view it, and I understand again, this isn't the normal view, but like somebody's with me because they love me because I offer something to them that they can't find anywhere else. And I don't think they're going to find that just talking to another dude. I'm not worried that, like, okay, if I let my girl yeah, off on, like a fucking on, leash, Steven. she's going to go running down the street and Steven, find, like, the next is, fucking guy. Like, fuck that a, shit. There's a huge argument to be made that you don't care because you don't care about your partner, Melina. Oh, shit. I, I mean, you can say Whoa. it if you want, but, like... I mean, yeah, we're literally I mean, like, no, we're literally no, no, no. like getting Steve married like in two months, shit. but like, what, fuck? what? Dude, you're the one who does this leash. Oh, she's going to be on a leash. Nobody said that. He no, but like, I'm, talk, I'm talking, I'm talking, no, 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 no. You I'm do this talking every about, debate. I'm no, stop, yeah. it's not a fucking debate, okay? I'm talking to you about like the type of security that you have. It sounds to me, when I hear somebody say that, like, I get a little bit worried that like my girlfriend, if she's talking to a lot of them, here's what I'm hearing. What I'm hearing is, I don't think I'm good enough for my girl. I don't think I deserve her. And I think she's going to run into a guy that does. That's what I hear. I have a rebuttal. Here, here's how it looks, Steven. It looks like, let's say you and Melina break up, God mm -hmm. forbid, knock on wood. She would be a lot more shook than you. And we all know that. What? So what? What is that? that? No, but I'm just saying that uh, one partner cares more. Okay, I, no, I, yeah, I have a rebuttal. What? I have a rebuttal. So listen, I think it's just because you don't see other men as competitors because you think everyone who's not... Uh, on the astral plane of politics, it doesn't matter, right? But what if it's a one of these like uh, debate uh, mortal enemies you have? I mean, like Melina literally went on fucking Hassan's like dating show. I didn't give a yeah, fuck. He doesn't like, care. Yeah, he I, I, I truly didn't. That didn't get to you? No, no. I, he's on I was literally mode. downstairs yeah, playing fucking League of Legends me. while she's doing it. No, I no, 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 I, I've yeah, but here's he this is, I'm telling you, and again, I understand it's not the norm, but this is my experience. If she leaves me for one of those guys or whatever, then fuck it. Then they were more compatible. I'm not gonna sit there and try to fight to like keep somebody that like is exactly. just gonna be better right. off with somebody else. Like fuck that shit. I'll just go find she, another. So girl. you don't have any bit of pride in your stomach that's saying. I cannot let this shit happen. Fuck this guy. My not I'm letting this shit guy. happen is hopefully my not letting this shit happen is hopefully providing enough value in the relationship that they're not going to go to somebody else because they're not going to find what they get with me with somebody else. That's what I, that's where my pride is. And that's what I look for. They felt if they feel like they get along better with someone else or they drive better, with someone, then fuck it. Then go date somebody else. It's, no, yeah, okay. Yeah, but you guys, other two guys, I want to know from you guys too because we are we're talking about this a lot from like the guy perspective, but I still want to hear. Like I'm curious from your guys' perspective. 
what is too jealous from a girl? Like, what are you, what kind of qualities and like typical behaviors from a girl, when that starts happening, you start to feel like, damn, like I'm really on a leash now. Now I can't even like a picture on Instagram. Like, where is that line for when it that perspective? When, in, when, when it interferes with your finances or your leisure, that, or, or let's say your gym and, you know, your important schedule, that's when it's too much. When she's just jealous and it's not really hurting you, then she, she, you know. So liking pictures on Instagram. Let's just talk about that for a second. If I like a lot of booty, girls have this issue. I like, oh, I think if I, I like booty pictures, pictures on Instagram. Yeah, look, if you, first of all, hold on. Let's just do it like this. Thank you so much, 360. If a guy likes booty pictures on Instagram when he's dating someone, you're a fucking creep weirdo, bro. First of all, I don't even like you guys. Wow, John. No, Chat, no, no. Let it be known you're what John is saying right now. I can't even believe this weirdo. perspective is coming you're out of your mouth. Bro, you're oh a my fucking weirdo. Bro. You are actually weirdo. You're actually a fucking weirdo. Because you know that like doesn't do anything in your life, but there's a high percentage chance you're fucking up her all week. You know what you're doing, and it's fucked up. That's what I'm saying. Like, like uh, It's one thing to like... And it's nothing just a look. You know, I don't have Instagram personally, so it's not an issue for me. But if they get mad just because you look, then I think that's a little bit too far. Liking photos, even if you're not dating someone, is fucking cringe. Yeah, that girl's yeah, not dating you. I the agree. Fuck? Yeah, yeah I, it's, it's crazy how most of the girls on Twitch I've met, I, I would argue with them, disagree, right? Because they're like, whoa, this guy's a little too much. And then TwitchCon... I'm, I look like some god to them. I'm, they're studs in Twitch God, but I, they're drooling for me because they're like, he's stimulated my mind by disagreeing, right? It's incredible. And Sereda loves it. When she argues with me, she's like, wow, I want to go on a date with this guy, right? She just Don't wants put to... words in my mouth. No, no, I'm just seeing your brain. Will not. Thou shalt not put words in my mouth. I'm just seeing it. I'm seeing No, it. you're seeing, John, the glasses over your eyes. I'm serious. Listen, you don't got, know what listen, you see from me. You don't know. My future's too bright me. and my eyes hurt. Keep those on. Yes. No, okay, actually, I'm going to be right back. Hold on. I'll be like 20 seconds. Sure. Bring, okay. <clears throat> what I missed? What happened? Bring what? If, do, you have a, do, you have a, do you have a RC camera that can follow you? Jesus. I'm kidding. Go ahead. The bathroom? Infrared, infrared, infrared. I have a question for you now. No, okay. Dude. Why? I'll watch like, from my phone. I, I'm really curious, Stephen, because there's this one girl that's like, John, your last girlfriend, you were kind of jealous. Like, we've seen it at the brunch. John, you were so it's jealous not... of your last girlfriend. Just just think about the things that you did to this girl, I, the things you I, say about I this agree. girl years later, years later after you broke up with this girl. I you agree. You over that relationship. And like, no, I'm, I'm not. I think I, we should go I'm her. not because, because, respectfully, I love her. I ended it. Another another thing. Let me let, let me say something. Let me say something. There's this one girl dating. There's like, yo, you're never jealous with me. You just let me talk to any guy, and that kind of dawned on me. I'm like, oh, I guess we're just dating, hooking up. Like, I don't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? And that's what I think. St Steven's the kind of guy who doesn't really attach, and which is an attractive quality for you. To, you know, he looks cool. He looks like Cloud Strife, right? He loves that look, that Final Fantasy look. But it is kind of like. It's a, it's rough. If I was Molina, I'd be like, you know, he's great, but I'd also be like, ooh. But then she got a really good guy. Like he, you know, Stephen brings the bread. He's fucking cute, and uh, he's got a blue jacket. But uh, I don't think Stephen likes his partners as much as they like him. He's one of those, and I've I've seen it. Man. That's Sigma. why he doesn't get jealous. That's why he doesn't get jealous. Sigma male. What is Maybe. this stigma? I keep hearing this dumb shit. What bro, is just it sounds like what it sounds like. When you hear it in the context, that's what it is. You know is, what the, you sound like? You sound like when I came on a Twitch, they're like, he's alpha. I'm like, no, I'm an Omega. I do it alone. I just made up shit. And people are like, whoa, Omega. What do you, what is, you invented Sigma? I didn't invent it. Uh, my chat kept calling me a Sigma male. And then I found out what it was. And I was like, you know what is true? I am kind of like Sigma, you know? What does it mean? It's a guy basically who's focused on the grind set and is not distracted by bullshit. They're just, you know what I'm saying? They're um, an alpha, somebody who's always trying to get everyone's attention and shit. A Sigma walks their own path on the Sigma grind set, you know, on the daily, you know what I'm saying? Not getting distracted and basically curving women all the time, you know? What is what is low testing either? <laughs> I was trying to compliment him saying Sigma, but the low test anything kind of cancels. No, no, it out. what is he? Where does he fall in this paradigm? And it's I'm, I'm not an being expert. mean because I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a fucking expert. I'm, in I, fucking you know why you know why people find it so mean? When I say low test, at least his dick works. I'm the one that's suffering, right? <laughs> so 
Uh, where does he is he a beta in your eyes? Like, do you use that no, term? No, no. Okay, you know what I see. I see destiny. I see hidden power in destiny. He's not physically powerful, but he you does gotta take have him to Namek, Yeah, I could see them making a statue of his face. I mean, uh, a marble bust of his face. You know. Yeah, I can see. If he has a hidden type of. Uh, what, about, what about Hassan though? Wouldn't they do Hassan first? Nah, dude. Um, I don't know about that. You know, Hassan doesn't have the rigor. He's not rigorous, you know? He's not, uh... Yeah. Hassan has power, but he doesn't have rigor. That's the thing. I, I think Hassan is such wasted potential. Like, everyone watches him, but I would watch Hassan 24-7. I wouldn't even stream if he just debated someone. Agree. Like, I agree. He, he won't yeah. give us the confrontational stuff. Sometimes he will. He'll go on Fox News, but it's selective. It's like... I can't watch Steven unless they're, he's arguing. If I hear that clicking sound of the emails, I'm like, fuck this shit, right? But for the debate, I can't already. already. If he debates, I debated everyone. So he would have been, I would have debated him too, but. What, what else do you guys disagree on? Cause I'm not gonna have you guys on next week. So just let's get it out. And Infrared, you act like you're gonna be excommunicated out of the political community. Like you said, everyone in politics hates yeah. each other. Everyone, you're not special. Everyone hates each other in politics. You're not special. Yeah, you can have a disagreement. It. He's not gonna block you, bro. Ask Destiny. Destiny, am I more hated than everyone else? Be honest. You're up there for sure. Yeah. 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 See? No, Steven's pretty hated. <laughs> yeah, I'm up there doing too, a very good job. He's more well known. Fine. He's more well known. This is gonna be helpful. Well, What's guys, up? We need I'm not gonna waste you two. Don, you said this podcast was about helping people get into better relationships. This is a relationship podcast. Sure. Where Let's, are we? We're on question? Politics Island. Okay, okay I want to know. Oh, I want to know what you like chat. Hunter I want to know from your chat, huh? You sound like Hunter Biden. All right, what's your question? Oh my God, dude. <laughs> okay, my question is this: What's your next question about relationships? Oh, when yeah. stay focused. That's your question. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, hold it in, bro. Hold it in. You look like you're the White Knight holding it in. This is what? funny, guys. I'm just All right, chilling. listen, listen. You guys can laugh if she makes like. Yeah, I have the eject blooper. button. If you ready. This is the nuclear codes, okay? Just what let me know when you're ready. Dude, this is a fucking... This is a nuclear code. I got no, the nuclear seriously. codes. What right is there. that? Is that... If dangerous? I press this, the, the podcast will end. This is a butt jack button. All right, save it. Save it for later, okay? So my next question <laughs> now... It, my next question now is... All right? And I saw this on my TED Talk. Is... What does good sex mean to this cast here? We'll start with... Sereda. Why are we first. starting with me? Because I love okay, you. Fine. I literally love you. Okay. I will Go. answer this question. Okay, I'm gonna answer this hey, question. Why do you turn into a politician? Like I will answer this question. <laughs> just answer it. Yo. If you just give me a moment, I will answer this question. The question sure. that I'm answering, and I'm about to answer this question very well. Okay. So here's what I think about that. For play. For play. Or Love. play for play. Let's go. Listen, this is what I will really truly say. The number one problem with people's sex games worldwide is a pandemic. People are missing foreplay. It's a pan. It's literally foreplay demic. We don't have enough of it. To use the destiny example, as he's been referring back to, I will. Go over it. Allow me to bring you back to the car. Okay. We have a car. All right. The guy's car may be ready to ride like that. Okay. The girl's engine does not function the same. You need to warm up the car, baby. You need to let that engine rumble for a little while. I would say minimum 10 minutes. Minimum. Your results, the mm -hmm. more time you put into that, the better the sex I, is going to be, beginning to take, end. I will take it a step further. Ten minutes, I think it should be six hours. Like, oh you guys go God. to the... No, 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 I'm serious. I'm serious. No, Hold dude. on. It's not a meme. Dude. I'm saying... I'm dude. saying... No, no. I'm saying... You're it's not trying to head into retirement by the time it's all over. You're not hearing me. I'm saying it starts... Let's say you guys are at the fair or the arcade or I don't know why you're in the 1960s. But anyways, let's say you guys are on your date. It starts on the date. It continues throughout the day, watching movies, da da da. That is the best way to bond in so you're a. Saying it starts more with compatible. a text in the morning, and then maybe no, no, hours, not a text, a not a text. Bar. Hey, let me tell you something. Women hate mm. men who text them. 
Period. What? I wish that was true. What are you That's talking true. about? Yeah, I don't text. I've never been a texter. I agree nope. with that. I, I used to be you when I was phone? You don't have Instagram. You don't text. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Every time a man texts a woman, he's increasing the percentage that she's turned off by 5%. Oh, my God, dude. You're playing. You're, you're, this is like you're, the, the, this is the red pill game. Do the yeah, no, 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 no. You have I, to do the phone call. You have yeah. to do the phone call. You have to. And it doesn't have yeah. to be FaceTime. But hey, where are we meeting? Da, 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 da. You have to be an adult. You can't be Steven sending little emojis and shit. Let me tell you, let me tell you what happened. Yeah. This is what happened, okay? Zerka started talking to a girl, and then he started texting her. And they're talking at night, and then she stops responding because she fell asleep. And then he's sending messages like, hey, hello? Are you here? Did you go to sleep? Oh, guess you found something better to do. Whatever. Message me in the morning, maybe. Or not, I oh, guess. No. Whatever. Then you woke what? up, and then you're like, oh, still haven't messaged me? I guess you're mad at me. Blah, blah, blah. And then the girl no. ghosts him, and then he's like, oh, this is some bullshit. Steven, See? You're not Steven. supposed to text oh, girls. I looked at the PUA guy, and he told me, you like, you don't know you how stupid girls. you're looking no, right now. No, you, you, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm how stupid you're looking right now. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but anybody that's talked to more than two girls knows that you can't get away with, like, never fucking texting or talking to a girl. Like, it's. Nobody said, said never. Nobody but said never. never. You, you, said never you said you never text a girl. Right, you said never text, text a girl. I'm serious when I say listen hey, to me. Come on. Listen, he didn't listen. mean never. Steven, you're, if you went your debate career without going to extremes, you would have eight viewers if you're lucky. They'd be your family members. Because you always do this. It's pathetic. I know you way too well. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. When t Everything gets lost in text translation, pretty much. You increase your chance of confusing her or yourself or stuff. Phone calls, it look, have you ever worked sales, okay? If you work sales, when you call a lead, right? You don't text the lead. You call them and you say, hey, are you coming for the gym membership? Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. That's how it is. This is dating one-on-one. You're thinking of three years down the road with Melina. This is, we're talking about fundamental steps of meeting a partner and dating. Steven, you're so beyond your scope here. It's pathetic. You have, this is the you one have to call because you have to let them know you're serious. If you're text... A lot of people text, they're not even serious about it. They're just, ah, whatever, you know? So right. calling is like, uh, you have to do that. Okay. I even call for friend, not just relationships, for friendships too. I'll just call. Sure, so you, you're, if sign. you're talking no like- No texting at all? Is if you're, you're talking saying? about like setting no. up a first date, like on Tinder, I agree with you. You can't be texting for fucking two weeks before you meet the person. Sure. That's some shit where you try to get like a phone number. You don't have to have a call, but at the very least you set up like a meeting like pretty fast. Sure. But this idea that like if you're starting to date somebody or you're hooking up with them regularly, like you have to be texted. Like if you're not texting, that's just like part of the game. Like saying that you don't text in 2021 is like saying you don't eat pussy. Like you're you're so fucked in the game okay, at that point. Like, I, how it was for me was that every single text has to lead to a concrete outcome. And I mean, like, uh, what, a text mean? means you're going <laughs> to hang out that day. A text no. means you're going to You look like you're selling concrete right now. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean? You look like you're on the construction site talking about concrete. Text. What do you mean by like, that? Like, when you, you don't just text for no, just to chit chat. You text to make a plan. You text to actually have an outcome. Not just to like uh, talk. But then she's gonna think that you're only hitting her up to fuck. when you want something. Yep. You're talking about. You're, you're talking about. about, you're, talking about, about you're, you're talking about like the only texts I send are, "What are you doing at 2 a.m.?" Like that's the kind of shit that you're talking about right now. What the fuck? <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be at. Two, it can. It doesn't have to be at 11:30. Are you coming over? <laughs> it does. It doesn't have to be sex. It don't have to be sex. Again. I can't rest it, it until can you come over. I need a concrete it, outcome. It can be. It can. <laughs> come on, guys. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I'm going to need a commitment you know from you right now before I get more, off this phone call. You know what, Destiny? Those 2 a.m. texts have so much more value to them than just like, hey, hey, what's up? How you doing? I agree. Mean, that shit sucks. What, 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 why? Why are you talking to me right now? You know, I have a good solution for this. You know what works really good? Instead of a text, a little voice note. You just press your finger on the fucking recording and you just speak the text. That's yeah, something, Android. but you don't have to make a phone call. You don't, don't have to make a phone call. I got Android. I mean, we don't got that no, shit. Everybody has that shit. shit on their phone. Come on. I haven't texted in two years. King Kong, okay? I don't I use fuck. Fucking... Listen, 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 it's like your girl texting is like, my mom is sick, and you respond back. It's like, unless you're going to lock me in for a funeral day, you need to get the fuck out of my phone, bitch. Like, what the fuck? I won't call. If she says some serious shit like that, I pick up the phone and call her. Okay, but 
Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't really believe in voice notes either. But the topic is, and Stephen will go to you. Um, what do you mean, John? What? You're going to text instead of voice note, and you believe in calls. Don't let them confuse the tone of voice no, and the no, text. Look, I agree I, with you about no, that. No, no, you can't I sound tell like the tone a, of a voice I, of somebody I, what they say. I how you doing like, could be how you fucking doing, or it could be how you doing. It's very no, different. Don't do that. All right, listen. I sound like a hypocrite because I text because it's kind of like you know I stream. I get you know I get people on, but if I'm interested in someone, the whole week I met her. I'm not really into, hey, how are you, blah, 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 blah. I will save it for in person with one five-minute phone call, and that's it. And if I don't get laughing in the phone call, if we don't have a genuine bond in the phone call, I probably will be scared, and I'll back out. I'll be like, I can't do this date. But if we're giggling and stuff, I'm all set, right? But if, if there's, like, friction Wait, or anything. how old are you again? I'm, Just curious. I'm old enough. To be teach schooling you because like I you I would won one I, I actually you won one debate today I would one. agree with you track. when I was in high school we did this shit when I was so I'm 32 right when we were back in but high you school you have leverage you fucking idiot we would, you we have would call leverage. you'd Steven, after you like have, Friday it'd be the weekend and you call and you'd Steven, be like hey stop, stop, hello stop. Mrs like Jonathan is a, is your daughter there can I talk and then you'd like Steven. chat on a Friday night that's Steven. some shit you do when you don't Steven. have a car or like when you don't have any way to get a house and sure but like even your advice is because you have leverage you have clout and money I'm imagining you like you're like rolling you around in your bed like oh like tell me about your day Steven. <laughs> destiny destiny what the fuck is destiny that? <laughs> what is that yo what? you're a meme today bro i love you today this is destiny. peak destiny what are you wearing look, my wife beater Steven, 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 of course Steven will follow up in sales but he won't do it with any Steven, you have leverage you can literally text a girl hey i'm sasquatch and you can meet her stop giving your personal experience no, you have the same leverage but you act like I'm, but I'm talking as if I don't. So I actually help someone out instead of StarCraft people okay. watching Steven and b b crying every night. Come on, man. Destiny, Destiny, listen. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Don't you feel like the fame has desensitized? Like, can you spit game with zero followers if no one knew who you were? Okay, like, here's if, why I don't if like. If no one knew sure. who you were, you weren't famous. Here, what would your yeah? Here's why I here's like? why I don't no? like here's why I don't like that question. Okay. People will come at me and they'll be like, oh, well, you can plug your stream or you can plug it. Well, what if you what if you didn't do that? Like, what are you asking me? I spent 12 years, nine hours a day. I've got more recorded time than probably any other fucking streamer on the planet. You're telling me to pretend that I threw away that whole fucking 12 year chunk of my life and then ask me if I can get girls. No, I couldn't get shit. I'd be a fucking loser. But my hope would be is that if I wasn't a streamer, I'd be in a successful career. I'd be like doing well at some other job. I'd have a fucking business. I'd do something else. So no, if you're going to come at me and be like, that's, that's like when people say like, oh, could you be an ape? Like if you didn't have any weapons? No, half my fucking evolution has gone towards like giving me a fucking brain of course i'd use a fucking weapon like i spent my whole life building my stream yeah that's my weapon that's my most successful wait, wait, thing i've done of course i'm going to use it when it comes to like attracting women yeah wait, what the wait, fuck wait, 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 wait. first of all zerk i saw put you put your best me. foot forward it is good yeah, advice for chat. put your best oh. foot forward chat second of all second of Sorretta, all you're this, you're you'd already disagreed because you said you don't even tell people you're in entertainment streaming no, so you're, you're right. You know what? I don't tell people what I do, but, but but it's different because I I don't tell people what I do. I don't tell people anything about who I am on my dating app. You just said get on you, put your best foot forward and tell them and blah 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 blah. You're I done. do think you should you're put done. your best foot forward. That's but... Zodiac. You're done. <laughs> John, John, <laughs> I like you. Don't always reveal everything about me to the person I'm about to meet. In your case, I like it's a lot of sort, baggage. I like Sorry, you don't I like using on, swords. So but I in use... my case, it gets better you don't the more you get it. to know me. You don't have swords of revealing light. You don't. You can I play do. by different rules. I have all the swords, bro. I have swords and they're sharp. Okay? Don't don't even test me on okay, that level. Mirror, mirror force. Go ahead, Infrared. What were you saying? What I was saying was, Destiny, is this that's, let me tell you, everything is clout. So that career, that successful career, it would all just be because of the, the clout you get from that career. When you're streaming, you're going right to the source. You're going to the pure, undiluted clout. So it's it's not comparable. It is. That'd be like me asking you, right? Like you say, like, oh, could yeah. you go without a stream? Okay, fine, I can. Could you get a girl if you never spent a day in the gym, right? Like you and Zerka look like you guys take care of yourself. So that's where <laughs> that's where you guys spend your hours right. at, and you build that, and you can use that, right? I Dude, think that's. Girls don't care about muscles. Don't don't give a no, they, but they I care if you up. look good. They care how you look. That, that's one. We did establish true. very early in the stream that the hygiene is like number one. Yeah, yeah, and that's part annoying. of it. That's part. Of it. I'm not saying that you've got to be like fucking Canute, that you've got to be a shredded fucking bodybuilder. But stuff. you're lying if you don't think girls like nice shoulders to hold on to, big arms to grab, like that, a nice chest to lay on. Like that shit helps for sure. It absolutely does. No, I'm not saying you're at fault, but I'm saying 
When you're trying to give it, no, 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 hold on. Let me, let me stop. Let me stop. If there's a reason why young 20 year olds build themselves up with muscle, like little bitches, right? And then as soon as they leave college, they're like, why did all the girls go into the VIP section with the businessmen? How come I don't have girls in my life out of college? It's because guess what? Security is more important. No, it's because I told you, you, I told you you in the beginning, it's the car thing. It's the car thing, right? You're, you're looking at four wheels on a car and asking which one is the one you need to go, right? It's just looking good. is just one part of the puzzle, right? If you, John, let's say that you and me, let's say that you and me were equal. Okay. Let's say that I did a little bit of time in the gym to get to your level of strength. And you put a lot of time, a lot of time, so much time into like reading and doing shit to catch up to me mentally. Right. Let's say that we did that. Right. If that was the case, if that was the case, if that was the case, you do we Wikipedia tabs. Shut the fuck up. What if that was did the case, okay, if, if, that, if that was the case, all else equal, right? If we were to just take away like the looks of okay, one of us or take away the muscles, chill, the guy that looks better, that takes care of his body better, is probably gonna win out, right? All else that's equal. That's not true. That is true. That, all else equal. Yeah, of course. You. But but working out and having a nice body, that's not a substitution for a personality. That's not a substitution could, for a career, right? If Chad could choose to be an average looking guy with a nice stream or an average looking guy with nice muscles. One guy is making a lot, getting a lot of phone numbers, and the other guy is pumping iron. Period. I wish I could like. I wish I could Period. agree with you. I remember, man. Period. There's. It's just sometimes the difference is like. Here, fuck, dude. I feel like I'm a full incel. Here's the difference, okay? If I were to walk up to a girl and like sit next to her and start like just hardcore trying to game on her in public, for a lot of girls, or at least depending on the area I'm at, they would look at me like I'm a fucking creep. Whereas like you or infrared, you could probably get away with that a lot better. That's not because alive, you're rich. What? If you're alive, would they look at you like a creep if you're alive? No, but that, but if that's what I'm saying. Change my but that's, mind? What, that's what I'm saying. I'm just okay. saying that based on appearance alone, you can get your foot in the door a lot more than I could yeah, with some people right off the bat. But what you're offering is a temporary solution to a long-term problem because they're just getting hookups. They're not having long-term partners. Sure, long-term but, partners, stop. Long-term partners come from security. Sure, and I agree look, with that. But again, that's all different parts of like what's going on, right? Like if you're a guy and you've got like that long-term like numbers and all that shit, but you're like a piece of shit in another way, so the girl's gonna fuck somebody else. She's gonna cheat on you. That shit's not gonna we're, last we're forever. Not too far from the plot. The plot is you can literally text a girl anything. You could do anything and it's cause you're a streamer, you'd be fine. So it's I don't not good so. advice. I don't think that chat. if that was the case, then why yeah, are there so many them. why are there so many lonely virgin fuckless streamers on this platform then? Because they're not average guys, they're weirdos. They look <laughs> weird, they ask. But they've got but that's uh, what I'm saying. About average. No, no. But that's we're what I'm saying. Average. They've got the viewer numbers. They've got the viewership. They got more fucking right. viewers than me. They probably make more money than me, you right? Think, like you think Greek has trouble getting girls. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't you fucking I don't do this, get, bro. I don't I don't, you know I don't want, I'm not gonna answer the question, John. Yeah, you answer the question, John. I'll answer it. I'll answer it. All right. I do very well, uh-huh. but I know a lot of girls in Twitch, and let's just say it's they always respond to his DMs. Like he does pretty good now, and he doesn't just look average. He got fit and stuff like that. But I'm saying for the average guy, this is a ton of leverage. Success is a ton of leverage. Of course, in but like, and I'm so, not trying to like jerk myself off or anything. But like, my position in society is not average, so of course I'm gonna leverage that. Like, I'm one of the like, lar- like I'm not like a fucking you, ten you figure or whatever. Like, I'm a pretty large like streamer on a platform, right? Like, to that. like, you can't ask a girl not to respond to that. You can't expect a girl just like you can't expect a guy who gets a dm from a super fucking hot girl with a fat ass when does that happen apply. when does that happen <laughs> Hold on. can i ask let me ask chad chad have you ever been dm by a super hot girl with a fat ass just out of the if blue? you got dm i gotta, I gotta know i don't know how many people in chat would reply i don't know how many of what you look chat. like who has she... this problem dude For, okay dude I, well hold on For, first of all melina dm me okay so it but but that's because, you're not chat i no, 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 no. fuck out of the call that's my fucking point you're looking at these like top one percent girls and then you're asking like an average person why they don't get dm that's not gonna happen you've got to be like a top one percent guy then if those are the kinds of interactions you want and you can't say that people should feel bad or that people so, should expect that because if you're not putting yourself in that position if you're not a top if you don't earn a fuck ton of money if you're not super successful if you're not a big athlete or a big streamer or a big entertainer you're not going to get those kind of messages no shit okay why do you cater your advice to your life experience why i don't care what advice do you think i've catered to my experience oh well molino thanks to me da, da, da. that's not adv- I, that wasn't a piece of advice you use that to back up your statement it's horrific bro that in a debate this would be like a fatality no, right? I, that that wasn't a debate. That was, my advice earlier was shit like pay attention to a conversation, take her to a restaurant, she likes buy her a fucking candy bar. That was my advice from earlier. If you want to talk about shit like that, we can talk about <laughs> shit like that. 
My, or my advice, or my advice <laughs> right here, bueno. like or my advice bueno. right here is going to be oh leverage God, what you have. Like, I've spent my whole life building my streaming career. Why the fuck would I handicap myself and not try to use that or flex that at all? When I'm going after... What? You lost the plot. We're not saying you should handicap yourself. We're saying it's shitty advice for the chat. Simple yeah. as that. No, it's I also not... think it's shitty Thank advice you. for the chat because what John does, I think also, listen. John is perpetually pandering to literally oh like the God. worst possible scenario you? for his who chat, filling their, heads with yep. filling their heads He's with nightmares, filling their heads with the impossibility oh of ever finding a good girl you know, that anything wholesome exists on this planet. Like, true. John, wait a 80% chat, there's of there's still males. hope. Hey, 100 on. calls yeah, are Of course, you're going to say there's still hope. That's your whole stream. <laughs> Listen, dude, shut the fuck up. There is no dude, you're cheating. You're cheating right now. Oh, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you John, something. Okay. Slow the, down. That's. The, I don't care. I don't care anymore. She. She <laughs> is bringing. She's hurting mental health in young men right now. Let me tell you oh something. Oh my god! Don't you, you? No, no. Bro. Let me tell you something. She just said there's still hope. Why do eighty percent of males, most of society, they don't get access to dating? Are you out of you? You're out to lunch, lady. You don't get it. That most of those people, they've been hoping for 20 Wait, why, years. John? Answer that question. No, why, John? Answer that question. Why? No, what the fuck? Viewers why? Listen, listen. Filling their listen, heads with negativity, impossibility, telling them there's no chance, telling them to play fucked up games. If I was in your chat, listen. What I'm is the fucked up game? Chat, you can't I name one end, time. What is the fucked up game? I never text. What is the fucked up game? What is the fucked up game? I never text. I never text. Okay, John. How about the time when I donated you fucking hundred dollars and everyone in the chat had to beg you just to show some recognition to your chat to show any love or like recognition I, whatsoever I for literally for oh, bro I, they you thank you to show any recognition on, you don't know, there's no love in that chat there's no response I, like bro i loved i loved you but the notification was off it didn't even show on screen when you gave me 100 i loved it but i'm saying John, if i was a viewer in your chat a regular viewer and i was continuously subbing to you i would feel like damn where's the love bro yeah. you're not wait, giving wait, your you know what? i was just say fuck it a hundred is pennies to you <laughs> You're, oh, you know shit. that you get you oh. girls get so much fucking money dude it's like this dude, is John, you're proving my point you're proving my point from earlier see you can't buy people with money just showering them with money doesn't work they want you want no, something no, she more, me. She you want me. Something more. You want something let me intervene, more. Let me intervene. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'm if you want to come somewhere where a hundred dollars is worth something come to my chat you'll get a thank you from me i'm gonna i'm gonna defend zerka even though he doesn't deserve it um so here's the thing this is a cold brutal world you cannot be out here deceiving people and uh, making it seem like it's all warmth and it's all love and because it, it's fucking not. There's cold hope, hard, chat. There's sure, cold I agree hard with you, Brad. I do oh. agree with you, but I think that pushing yeah. the narrative of the total opposite, which is what John somehow is like kind of pushing, is, is not a benefit to people. L telling them that there's no hope, that the only way is to play I'm multiple games. Why it's a good thing, you never though. trust nobody. Listen, listen, listen. It's not about no hope. Hold on, hold on, so many... hold on. Sarita, let me, let me, this is, I'm bringing Exodia across right now. Look, do women play games when they date men? Yes or no? <laughs> you're done. You're so, you look so, you're let getting, me... you're on live stream fail right now. This is so embarrassing. You're not even answering. You're stuck. <laughs> Checkmate. Hey, I Andrea. Don't need to answer the question because <laughs> for women to you even engage to. with men is to know that they're right, walking stop. into the game. game. Sure, let's do it, it again. Game. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. The very notion let's do it of again. getting involved with a guy no, we'll is to we'll open yourself up to the possibility that you are going to get cheated on. Yes okay. or no? Let's talk statistics. Okay. You want to talk Listen. political statistics? What Listen. are the chances that you're going to get cheated on by whoever you fuck with who's a dude? Who's very high. Unless you're with somebody who's an open relationship, then maybe there's like some external circumstances. Most of the time, if a girl's going to get involved with a guy and she started to believe this to such a <laughs> core that she just literally about? plays games because there's no chance she's going to find a loyal dude. You're not, Am I wrong? Am I wrong? You're, you're, Let's look at the divorce rates. Let's look at the fucking cheating rates. Let's yeah, figure it out. Divorce rates. Most women file for divorce. So careful down. All right. Let, let, me, let me. Why go, let me go. do you think well, that is? Because they're getting cheated. Why? Why? What do you mean? Why, Why do you think that is, dude? Why? Do you right, think that I, is? I'm not going to go into it. I just want to ask the question again. Do yes, women? Please. Do women when they date men play games? Here's my question for you, John. <laughs> do men want to actually date the women that they're dating at all, or do they just want to look good to their friends? Oh, Are they true. true. In the world that they're actually fucking right. with at Sarita, all, or is one more it time. all just to make themselves look better <laughs> to their friends? Do they even like the girl that they're hitting on or they're talking to? Take that clown face off. Put the other face on, John. Hold on. Sorry, yes or just no? Just one question. Just, uh, let me try this again, okay? Okay, let me draw another card oh. here, okay? 
do women play games when they date men? Close the shaka hand. Ask oh, the question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. Do women, women play games when they date men? Play games when they date with men. Everybody your... plays games. Everybody. No, 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 no. That's not the question. This is Jesse Lee Peterson level now. <laughs> do women play games with men? Not all women. Not all women do, play games do with men. Most women play games Thoughts? with men when they date them. Thank you, Steven. Speak for most women. <laughs> do most women play games when they date? I Man. cannot speak for most women, dude. You're do, genius, mo dude. Come on. <laughs> do most women, Serena, play games when they date men? You know, John, in my experience, I have dated a couple women, and I don't know Serena, about what they like you, men, Most but... women, not you, do most women play games when they date men? Dude, I've answered this question like three times. Like Why do you asking most me? women Are play games world? when Side they the date world. men? What is happening? I have answered this Serena. question. Do most women wine? play games Guys, when they date men? Let me out. If it's only yes or no, which one would you choose? Yes or no? If it's only yes or no. There's no way that you can get me to say that men don't play which games. There's no way you can get me to say that men don't play which games. Which one would you prefer? It's not going to be perfect, but it has to be yes or no. Which one do you prefer? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I feel like I've ever So do men. See? Men. They play games like no tomorrow. <laughs> listen, I... You know what? You're wrong. I never. I don't play no games. I never... If Listen, I know what I want. If I want someone, I will never play games with them. So if I'm doing this shit, it's because I know they're playing a game and I have I to like win. I'll do you understand? The majority of the women that you're going to meet, that you're going to try to engage with, are not used to dealing with males of your, like, like you. They're not. They're used to dealing with the other kind of male. And they are everywhere, dude. you got to understand this. Like, you can't expect to go into engaging with a woman just like you can't expect to go into engaging with a man and expect that they haven't been dealing with the shittiest quality people that you can find. They've been jaded. They've been treated wrong. They've been... Tell you, let me tell you something. If you go yeah, in... Like, if you go in wearing it on your wrist, if you go in wearing your true self on your wrist and your true feelings on your wrist, she's going to think you're weak and you're done. No. You're out of there. Oh, oh my God. No. Yes. Oh, no, no. Yes. If, you, if yes. you go in wearing, no, no, let me tell you. If you go in wearing your feelings on your wrist, you're going to get a reaction from a girl who's a good girl or you're going to get a reaction from a girl who's a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. If the girl is a piece of shit, she's going to take that play you, fuck with you, treat you like a sub, she's gonna ditch you, she's gonna laugh at you, all these things. Are you frozen? <laughs> Where's what I'm saying? Really, really shocking you. Is what I'm saying really shocking you? It's a fucking truth bomb. Oh, shit. Did he fall into a trap hole? What's going on? <laughs> John, she asked you to take your clown face off. You're gonna do it or not? I took it off. Let's play oh, the dumb blink cool. game. You will win. <laughs> Um, <laughs> damn, we got okay. a lot of we have a lot of lost young men in today's society. That's all okay, I'm gonna say. Holy around. shit! Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's it's almost yeah. like you're not saving the Star Starcraft people, Stephen. Don't you have a responsibility to the people who wipe your ass? You're just your like butt? you're the the sad thing is, and is you, that, who are you shilling for? Is that, you don't have a partnership. Who are you shilling? Wait, for? Do you ever, did you ever see the movie Creed? The fuck? You ever see the movie Creed? I don't think so. It's like the, one of the things that Rocky says to the fighter guy at the end. He's like, that when you go into that ring, the only person you have to box is yourself. You got to get to yourself. When people have like the types of mindsets that you have, you are your oh, own worst go. enemy. Literally. You are like, you are, and, I, and I've seen girls do this and I've seen guys do this. Would they end up second guessing themselves so much in relationships? Would they end up trying or to play they, yeah, stupid fucking games? Or are they going to spend games? 10 years in a Destiny no, stream no, with no you can, fucking outcome, no results? Be honest. Which, who in DGG even has results? They've been with you since Justin TV, and you haven't fucking helped one I guy. Actually, I, dude, I had two fans here, email me today that met in my chat that got married, unironically. Oh, yep, 100%. Two in, two, in what? A million followers? I don't know. Two? I haven't pulled them to find Beautiful. out how many of them have gotten fucking married, okay? Jesus Christ. I don't know the relationship oh, yeah. status of all my... But I'm willing to bet that based on what you're saying and based on what I'm saying, more of my viewers probably have success with like relationships and shit than yours would. Holy shit. Don't, don't do that John, one. Do, do it, say that again. Steven, say that again. More Destiny viewers... Have success. DGGers, then, then they fuck. Then Zerka. Yeah, then Zerka. No, no, then your community. I don't know what. I don't it's know about the clips. You. It's the whole thing for the clip. DGGers are fucking way more than Zerka viewers, okay? Zerka viewers are lost in some black hole abyss sure. of sadness and nihilism, sure. okay? You know, we can quantify this. You know that, right? I have a Discord too. Yeah? 
Yeah, we can quantify this. I can I can go on a Zoom call with 50 of my subscribers. Wow. I'll grab yeah. 50 of mine. You can go on a Zoom we'll call go, with 50 of yours. We'll go head to head, okay? <laughs> you're good for politics, but this is not... You're in deep waters here, dude. Uh-huh. Holy shit. Uh, Infrared, what happened you. in your setup? My, my internet disconnected. I'm using my uh, mobile. Okay, so here, back to my other point. I'm going to say one more thing on this topic. Here's an unpopular opinion. Uh -oh. Guys want to get with a certain girl who looks a certain way. They try to approach her with authenticity and their heart on their shoulder. Unfortunately, the majority of girls who guys have expectations, they want to get with a certain kind of girl. They get a reaction back from that girl that is not what they expect. They try to try to treat her kind, treat, treat her kindly, but the the truth is that the, there's a lot of girls out there who are really fucking confused and fucking treating guys like shit and like honestly being like literally like like treating them like trash those girls are low quality girls and guys tend to like throw themselves at these low quality girls and they give them the best that they have and they expect results but the fact is like you don't want to go for the really good girl because there's something about her that maybe is not working with your ego or maybe is not working with like you know what you would expect with the girl you're trying to get with but it's like you expect certain girls who are like this to treat you like a princess when you're you're putting your eggs in the wrong basket and then you get upset when you get the result. It's like there are good girls out there who are going to give you exactly what you want with that good approach, with that kind result. Like you're going to get a situation where you'll have a relationship that will bring you happiness. But I agree I that there's like, good girls out there. I just think without game, you don't have access to them, period. What you good call girls don't want you to play games. Listen, listen, I don't, listen, but why are they playing? Want you to play games. Dude, hold on. You know who good engages girl, good girl. With okay, Sarita. Good girl. Girl. You're leading Sarita. your flock into sure. the wolf den. Sure, Sarita. You're leading your do, flock into the wolf den, John. Sarita, do good girls play games as well? The type of games yes. that Oh will my play, fucking god, dude. This is a meme, dude. Be... You're on Steven's side. You're not making him look that great. But do good not girls not really also play. play games? I'm curious. Dude, what kind this... of games is a good girl going to play? She's a good girl. I didn't girl. ask. I asked a yes or no. Do good no, girls No, also... good girls doesn't play games. Okay. No, a good yes, girl doesn't play games. Yes, they... Listen, no. everybody has to play games. Let me tell you why. Because we don't know each other. Nobody knows each other. You have to play these games. A good girl, no, but no one actually knows each other. Those you are have the to types of games I'm talking about. Yes, but that's I wouldn't call that a game. I would call that like sussing out a relationship. I would call that like testing the waters. There's a difference between testing the waters, which you should do in all relationships to see what kind of response you're going to get. Because every time you have a certain interaction, you're going to get a response from somebody that's going to build a picture for you of what kind of person you're dealing with, and people will let you know. Chat, keep this in mind too when you go out there on your first date. People will let you know exactly who they are very early on, but in Sarita, smaller would, circumstances. Would, Sarita, in little would, circumstances would, like in the moment when you meet Sarita, them. I, I'm just, just curious because I don't, I don't benefit. Really. Who they are. Would, I don't benefit from this. I actually don't, you know, I'm not even partnered. Like my takes are kind of, you know, it's bad for me. But would you lying increase your subscriber count or decrease it? John, what are you talking about? If you lied about your opinions, would it increase your sub count or decrease? You, know, Dude, you look, so, you look perfect. Head, you look Dude, politically correct. You look perfect. I want to give you. I want to give you a brand deal right now. You look so good right now. John, right? I don't have time to calculate the bro. I can't even. Go if that. you spoke like me, would your sub count de decrease? Bro, you're on some deep. Yes, it would. I'm not, <laughs> yes, it would. I'm not. Dude, yes, it would. You're. Like you have that. the incentive in this. You are like three levels ahead, dude. The game. You know what? You are revealing. I just said people let you know who they are, bro. If just think of the level of like triple. Th thought that that went into like bro if i was going to be dating somebody like it's you i'd be getting like science. five levels deep reverse questions like sussing me out in weird ways like no, oh my i know God. i've never questioned a girl or shined a light in her eye your ability to play because games guess, was because just because very guess, much displayed no, on the stream no. and like when it is you, when you hear games you think eight. i'm when you pl that, when you hear you play game play when you hear the words play games you and des needs you guys think I'm going to bring a ball rog in the room. No, 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 no. I, just, I've, I fucked with girls. It's fucking hilarious. No, no. This is I a joke. Fuck, I fucked with girls that I really like that play games, and I hate it. Let me give you an example of a game some people might play. And it, and the, and it's funny because some girls will play the types of games you're talking about. Some really pretty girls will play games. One of these things where it's like if I text, a, there are certain girls that I know where if I, te and I like these people a lot. I think they're super cool. I would fly across the country to hang out with these people. I can text a girl like this, and I'd be like, yo, what's up? And I know that I won't get a response back for a day because she's scared of responding back to me because she thinks that if she does it the same day, it's gonna make her look desperate. And that shit just annoys me. It just it's Yeah, it like, annoys me too. No, it doesn't. You're at, you're telling people that they should play stop, games. Stop, stop, you are stop. literally telling that. people to no, do not. shit. No, you're doing, you're listen, telling listen. people to do that shit. Steven, you're so dumb. You're okay. so dumb. 
You just admit humans, whether male or female, play games. I, that what? How is that you, an admit? Wait, wait, wait I never deny that. John, John, doing, John, John, you're being dishonest because you're not John, admitting you're losing you play to me. Games. John, you're, you're getting not. caught. John, I have an ultra. And you play games. I have an Luna. ultra fast internet connection. Sure. I'm streaming in 4K, and you just got caught in it live on LSF Smile. Okay, you just assume that what I said that girls don't play games. I never said girls don't play games. Girls and guys play games a lot. It's no, stupid, no, I, but I'm not everybody does. Do. Okay, I'm saying you do with Melina. Wrap it up, John. You gotta, it. John, wrap it up. You got to fit in the LSF clip. You got five more seconds. Not. Anything no, else? No, it's not. It's not. We're not. Okay, you're clipped. You're clipped. LSF. No, we're not. All right. Well, we, be, we need it. You and I need the viewer increase. You love doing this, but listen, listen, Stephen. I will always maintain is very real compared to other streamers, but for dating. He has played games with Melina, and she's played don't play games, games with, with Melina. Hold on, hold on, sorry, sorry. She's played games with him, oh and that's human God. nature, and I get it. And you guys are happy, so good job on your little games. No one's hurt. This is like I feel like I'm on like Mount Incel right now, and I'm talking to like the fucking old cranky no, king. No, you're saying that because Everybody I said you're being dishonest. In relationship is gonna test the boundaries. To you're gonna see what kind of person they are. They're gonna show you who they are. And like honestly, you play games in business. You play games with your family. You play games in your relationships. Human beings play games. Period. Thank you. <laughs> we need shit, Jack. But you haven't like uncovered oh, any. Un Stephen looks dumb as fuck now. No, but there's nothing. Did you hear what she said, Stephen? He said the same thing. I said the John. same yeah. shit. The same every every thing. interaction is like like something something. That there's like a phenomenon where if you meet My somebody God. and you like them at a nine pretty fast, okay, you start at a one, you build up to like two or three, and you hope they match your energy. This is a meme. Then you build up to four or five, and you hope they match. right. You can't just like meet somebody you like them a lot after one week, and you're like, yo, you want to live with me? Well, I mean, I would, because I don't give a fuck. But most people don't, don't operate that way, right? You slowly test out. the waters, and you see if the other person reciprocates. And eventually, either one, they stop matching your energy, and then you know, like, okay, fuck, like, we're done with this. Or two, they continue to match, and then you, like, move into something more serious. That's not, like, playing games, though. That's just, like, the natural, like, rhythm of, like, vibing out with somebody or trying to figure out if you're compatible with somebody or matching chemistry with somebody. That's not a game. A game is what you're talking about, where, like, a girl texts you, and then you set a fucking timer on your iPhone for six John, hours and 30 minutes before you can respond. Post, John is trying to say that Nice guys finish last, and it's just not true. It's not true, John. Fair Don't guys forget. finish it's first. Totally it's true. Fair it's men, nice. hold on. Fair men finish first. Stephen. What does that even mean? What does that mean, John? First. Me and Stephen isn't going. Hey, Melina, how are you? He's never done that in his life. I right? do do that, dude. And you should you know see what? the text. I don't even believe the candy bar shit, John. <laughs> you should see the text I send her when I fucking wake up. It's like, hey, what's up, Melly Mel? I'm, and I'm putting I'm like Melina's twenty friends, fucking Steven. hearts. I'm putting Steven, twenty Steven, hearts. Steven, I send her like Steven, happy Steven, fucking Steven, emojis and shit. Like I use like pet names. Like dirty laundry, but I'm Melina's friend, bro. I'm I'm not gonna just fucking. Oh, I'm sensing shit. Dude, that's how you guys are. That's whatever. It's not a bad thing. It's just human nature. Whatever. Right? <laughs> These guys do finish last, though. Isn't that true? Not, not in Steven's case, right? <laughs> These are like yeah, literally Steven, like if you, nice? were to, if you were to go through Steven all of my nice. texts, these are literally like what our fucking texts look like, John. But like this is the type I'm of shit we send to each other. Why I'm are you trying to act like when you, they you were like playing her, games or something? You fucking text. dumbass. I'm saying when you met her, stop showing texts from yesterday. When you met her. And I know the whole story of how you guys met, but I don't need to do this. When you met her, you were not who you're saying you should be. So stop it. John, stop it. I love you, silly. John, but you're just wrong. Dude, if I meet a girl oh. and I like her, we're literally living together like fucking two months later. Because I don't even have to consider a relationship real until okay. you live together. Like, you know that, I, just, I move fast on that shit. I don't, if they don't like me, then we don't do it and we just fucking move on. Like, you're, you're right. I'm, just, I'm, I'm lying for some, like, I'm getting some, well, I'm getting yeah, You're lying because you've got, like, your fucking, whoa, whoa, you're, you're, you're like the professor of incel school. Wow, you're wow, you're, you're wow, the because, professor of incel no, school. You don't want to lose your teaching credentials. That's what's happening right now. You know what's the beautiful part? I'm doing your chat a favor, and I and your chat's the kind of people that'll never be here. Like I'm not farming them; they'll never. I hate. I don't need DGG Starcraft gotcha. people, right? So think about it. I'm doing them a favor uh -huh. when I know they. You've hosted me many times. They don't stay. I don't give a fuck about them, right? But I'm still doing them a favor. I'm telling you right now, dude. I'm not doing them a favor because they're DGG. I'm doing it because I was I was a fucking out of shape Maple Story player living in despair. Men have zero notifications. Women have a million at the age 13, 14, 15, 16, a million notifications. Sarita, you don't have trouble dating. Everyone in that chat does. You should show some sympathy. You and Steven are acting like fucking psychopaths today. John, why do you think I would take time I need to get some water. I need to get some water. To get, it, get on a podcast just to talk with people about having healthy relationships. I agree. There's a lack of healthy relationships happening all over the planet right now. People are confused. The internet is a complicated place. I don't even mind being on a podcast like this to discuss these things. You act like I don't care about my chat. Like, just because I'm a girl, somehow I, I'm sending them to their grave. And they're so, like...
I'm here to punish them in some way. Like, it couldn't be the more opposite truth. Like, I resent what you say. Here's my question, right? Why would he be giving this advice if he has been successful? You know? Who? Zerka. Are you saying John has not been successful? How has John been successful? He sounds like he's fucking miserable. But he's what not dating. I'm dating. I don't, I, you can't, can't say the word. word. Stephen, I'm dating. Say... Stephen, I'm dating as we speak. How am I miserable? You every no, single you time. Unless... Right wait, wait, forget about yeah, misery. I'm dating you as we speak. Right I'm dating. You guys right been using for guys... months. For months, I'm dating. And you know what she said? You know what she said? And she's you're putting like, your chat through this. Yeah, you, you know, have a you girlfriend and said? none of them gets to have one. You think that's fair? You're <laughs> over here having a girlfriend and your chat is. But he's not. Chats are ATMs. They don't. They're robots. They're ATMs. They don't. He's not involuntary celibate. If you want. No, no. Listen, listen. Yo, the the girl that I talked to. You know what she said? She said, "Why would you do this podcast? Like, obviously, Steven. You know, the people you have on are gonna lie because it's kind of anti-brand deal." No, she no, your girlfriend you said that it's anti brand deal. I have to tell you yeah, something. She, know, she knows what Steve is going to hurt. She's going to lose his blue microphone oh, deal. We got a truth bomb right. coming. I got to tell you something. Okay, I'm right. just going to do this. I wasn't going to do this reveal on stream, but oh, like, I have no choice. You're pregnant? I'm kidding. Your girlfriend is in my DMs. <laughs> Uh -oh. I would love that. I would love that. I'm sorry, dude. I would love that. Uh -oh. I love that. I'm can I can I ask her to? I'll put you guys on a call. Dude, you can't just focus on your girl. Keep this one girl. Treat her good. No, no, she's cool. Oh, she'll, like you. she'll like you. And I'm not hardcore. Like, you know, you guys can come in. John, right? stop. Let's keep <laughs> it. What the fuck? I'm saying you can join in. No, I guess I'm just why I'm telling you to stop. Just stop. Let's focus okay, on the chat. Right. Okay, look, let's make sure that we can thirsty. get something good. Wait, 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 John. Were you literally just saying earlier you'd, you'd never do not something not like that? Are you changing yeah. it now? What? Yeah, of course yeah. I would. I've never that said that. You confused me. Wait, really? Wait. You confuse me with did. you confuse me with infrared stuff. Wasn't wait, weren't Zerk and infrared on the same page that they would never do threesomes? No, they never the do that shit. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Steven, I don't oh, know. Man. No, no, imagine what you said. You just said John Zerk. You just said John Zerk. Stop, stop, stop. You just said John Zerka would not welcome two females. You idiot. I'm pretty I feel like you said that earlier, but maybe not. Maybe no, no, not Destiny. Too. I what? said I'm hypocritical. I would unless I care about the girl, but if I don't, two is girls is fine, but I would not allow another man. You know. That you... is hypocritical. What? That is so hypocritical, dude. True. Yeah, I know. I know. What did you say? I know. We did a great podcast, guys. I kind of want to end it here because I'm fucking crushing it. And I, I feel like I don't know if Chad agrees. Are long podcasts like stupid? Aren't the intense short ones way better? <laughs> you're, you're literally, you want to end it right now because you're so insecure that you're worried that it's going to okay, drag. Okay, we'll say. No, 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 no. we can end it. We can end it now. I don't want to. Don't let me bully you in. Well, hold on. Don't let me. I don't want to. I don't want to bully you into it. Okay. Now, well, now I feel bad. I feel bad. So why are you backing out? Why are you backing out? We're doing two more hours. You just said it. We're doing two more. Maybe answer a few questions from the chat. Yeah. Go ahead, chat. Um, let's go to Steven's chat and then Mark. Zerka, I want you to know. I just uh, mind control technique you, okay? Just like ten tail fox. That's what just happened right now. Just letting you know, okay? We're doing two more hours. It's fine. We we listen. We got the content for our editors. Now we can chill. How did Destiny get pulled into this? I've known Steven a while. We've done a lot of content together, and I saw he was hurting bad. He needed this. Why does the what? Someone wants Steven to debate a politician. Uh, hold on. Uh, We're getting what? Something about league. I've never found League like a cool game. I don't know. League of Legends kind of cringe. Like of Legends. Do you play games, Rita? Mm-hmm. What do you play? Oh, you want to do yoga? You, 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 wait, said, you know she you plays games. Me... She's a woman, right? You already said that. Not... No, but know, men play bad. games too, Stephen. Why just women? I don't know. That's what you said earlier. Really? I like to play Call of Duty. I, I, just I, said, I said just one gender plays games? I like to play Call of Duty. That's Weak. it. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, Honestly, Willpower no asked, does... I wasn't always insisting. I was singing all the time. They, they uh, just... Sereda, you DM me. You said, is it okay if I do yoga? You can now do yoga on stream. Uh, Willpower is asking, does... I just decided to sit. In my no, if, you want, if, you don't, if you're uncomfortable. You if, have to um... end the stream and go live on my phone to do yoga. Oh, so she's going live after, guys. Okay, so make sure you guys go check out her stream. The first question is, Willpower, he donates and asks, does Destiny think he could get Melina... You know, before his streaming, like as a guess, a carpet cleaner. And um, probably not. I don't think I was very successful, like as a carpet cleaner. I mean, like I think I got a pretty good personality, but like that's like a, a whole lifestyle no, of success, kid. right? Didn't you have well, a yeah, kid? that yeah, that too. So probably not. Yeah. But again, like the no. alternative that you're saying is like, could Destiny do this if the past like 12 years of his life had been wasted? Like, no, I wouldn't imagine, right? If I hadn't done anything or accomplished anything, or, yeah, of course not. 
But that's mm. on you. If you've if you've got your whole life and you just like if you work a normal job, there's so much shit that you can do to like make yourself a bigger guy. Like even some dumb shit, like learning how to play the fucking guitar is like that's an easy fucking hook for girls. Really? If you know, if you can learn how to sing a little bit and strum a couple chords, like that's such an easy fucking end. Like there's so many ways you can improve yourself and make yourself more marketable. Like it it sounds yeah. like you only talk about getting girls, not keeping them. Uh, playing guitar, you better be paying your rent, bro. Okay. <laughs> Uh, skill set's important, but you guys want security first, and then play the guitar, right? We love Breaking Benjamin here. Okay, we have we have another one. Hold on, Apex. What are Sarita's thoughts on the wage gap? Oh, I don't know. What, <laughs> what are you fuck. doing? That's the question. Right. I'm ready to answer. He's asking about the wage gap, which I don't even look into this shit. It's so boring for me. Well, read the whole question. Uh, what are politics. your thoughts on the wage gap between male and females? And what what do you mean about what are my thoughts about it? Um, men earn more to the dollar. Yes. Right? Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Like, I mean, that's a thing. Is it, oh what do I think God. about it? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Follow up question now. Yeah, ask the follow up question. Are you okay with Melina being with you because you're class? I don't believe that because Steven is cute. So there's more. And oh, thanks. And and he is and he destroys people in debates. So he shows Melina has problems. more fucking probably more clout than me now or soon. She oh, gets I'm fucking gonna spicy take. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a curveball. You wanna throw a curveball? Oh shit! I think we're done with the I'm spice. Really Everyone wants to chill, but okay, go ahead. Fine, fine, fine. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Fuck it. How spicy is it? Just, okay, so just like what Destiny was saying, that the meatball. He, basically, he's saying like he's vi He's got a lot of the clout because it's part of who he is. It's like part of who he is. Oh, right? like not, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. People deserve how they look. Your mind and your soul changes how you look physically, even your face. I, never, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get I that. that. I don't get you know that. Why? What? Because I was so ugly when I was a kid. You look is not just you're born that way. How you grow up, how your soul, your mentality is. Basically, As you people who are good looking are good people in a way you know i agree the older you get the more you outside <laughs> reveals the inside reveals kim kardashian killed out kim person kim, hold on sorry no please you, no dude because you know let me show you the science behind it okay so here's what he's talking about let me back this up with science okay never mind all this other shit when you frown your face it takes like 42 muscles in your face to frown your face starts to sit in a frowny position you're wearing down your face with the muscles it takes to frown when you smile Everything raises, it's light, you're less burning. You won't get as many wrinkles. Literally true. Hold on. I feel like, literally true. On. On I feel like literally true. And it's gonna literally rejuvenate you. And you by the way, meditation, if you uh, listen to Dr. Dosa Spenza, you can actually Yeah. All that shit. Oh, that's what looks, I'm talking to you. Let's looks go. Looks are not accidental. Looks are not accidental. It's not accidental. Okay, stop. Listen, you, you talk to you talk hold on, hold on, hold on. You talk to Dr. Shit. No, 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 no. You talk that hey, doctor. You talk. You, wait, wait, wait. You, you talk that doctor Mendoza shit. You tell me a girl that can meditate her way out of wearing makeup every day, and I'll fucking believe you. Okay? Bullshit. Listen, I don't believe that shit for a second. You can't meditate your way out of makeup. Well, you can technically if you want to wear no makeup, but well, that's listen, 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 listen. Listen, this is the truth. This is the truth. Have such a changing effect. Yo, if if you know, let's say you see a girl, you think she's so you know whatever, and she turns to be a bad person. Retrospectively, you will see she's ugly. ugly. You were wrong. She I'm wasn't good looking. To you. And that's why, listen, guys in the chat who are a hard three, stop, you have stop. a chance. So you're saying Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian is being on... Listen, listen. She's surgery. That's surgery. That's surgery. That's surgery. That's surgery. That's surgery. Seriously, guys? Here, you're going to look. When you start treating that girl with some respect and nice, you're going to look so sexy to that girl. Even if you're I'm not trying three. to give chat hope. I'm not trying to give chat hope. I'm trying to say... I'm not trying to give him hope. Hold on. I'm not trying to give him hope. I'm trying to tell chat if you're ugly, you deserve it. I'm not saying you can find a way to become good looking. Okay, I'm questioning you, know? you, Infrared. Is Kim Kardashian. Does she have like an abundance of, you know, good. She's wild? surgery. That's surgery. Okay. All right. So there, what about a pretty girl that's a bitch? Is that possible in your world? You have bad taste because girls who I think are pretty <laughs> all turn out to be good people. All turn out to be good people. Oh, you're, te you're, you're telling me I can't. <laughs> Wait, how do you not just, maybe you're just think they're good people because they're pretty. Infrared <laughs> vision, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, infrared. I can see beyond infrared. the fucking visible infrared. spectrum. I, infrared, I bring you a hot chick that's a bitch in your room. She's down for you. You're telling me you just won't go up. You'll be like, no, fuck this. She's a meanie. If yeah. I'm not, listen, if I am not on the same frequency with her in terms of my soul, 
It will cap. not happen. Oh, this is the hardest happen. cap I've ever seen case. in my life. This is this is Exodia well, cap. It won't happen. I can't. I can't. I can't even no, get it off. I swear. Five dollars. Oh, it's not cap. I swear. I've had opportunities, Zerka, literally right there, and I said no. I don't want it. She literally becomes ugly in your face. Like, listen, when you have a beautiful woman with a sour ass attitude, you're going to tell me that you're going to look at her and you're still going to be attracted to her? No, dude. Her attitude is going to poison it for you. Uh, men Personality is so actually, important. A lot of men date, like, you know, men are fucking stupid as fuck. They date girls that, are, that they find mean. Like, it happens all the time. No, they, mean is good. Mean is good. Mean is good. <laughs> Telling me, John, the reason yeah, why I'm so single. Did you so have nice. like? Did you? I'm too nice, and that's why I'm single. Cause I'm not being a bitch in my DMs. I'm not treating them like dirt. No, no. Guys want to be stepped on. Is that true? Answer this for no, me. No, no, actually... no. Not stepped on. Not stepped on. But a girl who's too nice to you, you know something's wrong. Tereda, I'll tell you why you're single. Okay. It's abundance. You have so many options that you're just always waiting for the next better dude. All right, and we're going to go to these chats, okay? John, I'm curious. Do you believe men and women can be friends without being interested in each other? Yes. Um, what do you guys think? Of course, yeah, right? Yes, I think so. Cool. And next we have, thanks for the content. Split this between you guys. <laughs> no, I ain't splitting shit with these guys because they didn't bring any IQ today, but great content. So next question is someone asked Sarita in chat. Fuck, I missed it. Uh, Sarita, you, they, someone said you accepting what I said. Right. Okay. So, Sorry, what? uh, do you accept what my analysis of why you're single or no? Mm. That you have a ton of options and you kind of like flooded with dopamine. You're you don't really know. You're just always you know, waiting for Drake. My... You're waiting for Drake. Is what you're waiting for. I can't even read my DMs. Like I get when I go into my dating app and I see all the unread DMs, I get overwhelmed by how many yeah. DMs I have to send, and I just close. Wait, the when's the last time you banged? If you don't mind me asking. It was a long time ago. I'm not going to answer the question. Years ago? Okay, my bad. You're hurting bad. Holy shit. <clears throat> it's nothing wrong with that because you're killing it. You're making great music, right? Uh, does size matter? Let's go. Who are you at? Who's he asking? You. No, I want to ask the guys. Does size matter? For like fucking girls? Inverted. Yeah. Inverted, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What is inverted? What, is it, what does that mean? You know, the girl size. Like the size of her vagina, <laughs> the That's every so smart. every okay. So, to first of all, to clear things up, vaginas don't change when they get fucked. But Thank yes, you. Thank, you. But, Thank but, you. But 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 different vaginas do feel different. There are some girls that I could fuck infinitely with perfect self control, and there are other girls that if I fuck them, I will bust in like two minutes. Because holy fuck, I don't know why that is the case, but every inside, just like every dick, Grant can feel different 44. too. Right? Five dollars. This is important for this... me to mention to chat. A lot of guys are really confused about this fact, and I need to set the record straight for the sake of all girls. The size, the size, and the strength, the tightness or the looseness of the vagina changes monthly with the cycle of the period. I'm sorry if you hate to hear that, but you can have a girl if she's working out a lot, her vagina is going to be a lot tighter than if she hasn't been working out a lot recently. Similar to if she's nearing her period, her vagina is not going to be as tight. You can't judge one vagina based on one experience. I'm just going to say it. You need to know because you're going to see a girl one time. You're going to think you know everything about her vagina. You don't. There it is. I don't want to fuck. Okay, well, I'm burning the bridge for you. Uh, I, I don't think girls working out will change their vagina that much because I don't think 95% of girls that work out even work out. But that's... <laughs> that's Whoa, what, what the <laughs> fuck does that mean? That, like, I, I like... I think that like you can do like the Kegel no, stuff. Stop you, Shut the fuck up. You can do like the Kegel stuff or whatever if you if you want to get like a squeeze going. But like I don't think that like I don't think that like working out is gonna like, okay. make your vagina tighter. I don't think of that. I don't oh. think. Just a sec. Just a sec. Well, all right. I'm 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 just gonna say I don't even get the whole working out. Those I, I maybe to an incremental maybe this is like minutia details. I don't think it can change. It's not like you walk into a her. You walk into her like she's a cave. Like you're looking for Bin Laden. I don't think working out is going to fix it, right? But let, let me let me let me just bring it back for the working out in girls, Stephen, because that's really like harmful. Okay. Wait, what is? L no, no. Let Wait. me tell you something. Let me. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. L ladies, right? Being soft and a bit out of shape totally is fine because I've had many clients I've trained. Hormonally, it's very hard for them to get lean. So you think like, oh, she's just doing treadmill and stuff like that. If a boy does treadmill, 
his hormone, his endocrine system is made that he will enter his fat loss phase a lot easier. So this whole girls got to look like Wonder Woman and shit. No, fuck that. First, girls okay, hold on. Wait, one, all that. girls don't have to look like Wonder Woman. Nobody said that. And two, for a girl to get lean. Just to, none of them work out. I'm what saying that fuck? like, I'm saying that going to the gym and doing like 25 pound hip thrusts for like three years is like a waste of time. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that like you can work out and get fairly lean as a woman without like destroying your hormone cycle. Like I think that Ladies. you can work out and do stuff and not like. No, the period comes regardless. No, okay. first of all, that's not true actually. If you if you do get so lean, you'll start to fuck with your periods and shit. Or right, but I'm saying it's gonna affect. It's straight up. Please, I need you to act your age. Uh, I'm I'm saying the period is gonna affect um, uh, her adherence to diet. What? what? Or what do you mean? Say are that you, again. Are you high right now? No, I'm just asking what you I, mean. What you're saying? I'll, I'll reword it since DGG is that stupid. Her period will affect her adherence to the diet. Do you understand? No, I don't. It, Can you explain that more? That willpower. Well, listen, will hold on. Willpower is finite in men and women. That if you're having hormonal fluctuations, you crave sugars more. You want to spike your insulin more. You Are you stupid? To not so have don't expect them to have fucking keep up and all that shit. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't. You I don't have to really diet like you're a fucking bodybuilder to just fucking it, yeah, like make no, small you, gains you, at the you gym. You don't need like, that to have. You're, a, you're, ta you're talking about like elite me. level athlete shit. Like you, you don't have you know to. What? You know what? I'll, I'll give it to you. You're, you two are very smart. Okay, next okay. question we have from Willpower, and he asks Sereda, if this girl, Sereda, uh, is all about personality, how many viewers do you think she would get if she wore a sweater every day? <laughs> I don't know. So there's I mean. plenty of streams where I have worn sweaters, and my, my stream count does drop, but of course you have to understand that there is an inevitable consumer base on Twitch that watches girls for cleavage. Sure. They're the consumers. I can't control it. I dress how I want to dress. Mm -hmm. If I feel like wearing a sweater one day, I'll wear it. And those viewers who are, I don't want to say they're less valuable viewers, but they don't donate the way that like my true viewers donate. Sure. Viewers who are in my chat are usually there for music. They'll be there whether I'm in a sweater or whether I'm fucking doing whatever the fuck. And that doesn't usually change. So that's a baseline. That's like um, true viewership. But then, yeah, of course, there's, there's certain people who float around the internet and like everywhere you're going to go, certain things is going to attract viewers there's it's just that's the cons that's the consumer that's the consumer behavior i don't design the consumer behavior and i that I like is what it is you know what okay. i'm saying I, but those like views importantly to any girls watching listen those views do not necessarily equate to like dollars spent i can have some streams where i'll have like five to seven hundred people instead of like 15 and i'll get just as many subs if not more you know what I'm saying? Like views does not equal money per yes. se. Well, it gets it's very important to make that point. Wait, it's hold on, sponsored. real quick. That sounds like absolute bullshit. Yeah. But when Melina goes and does her beach streams, she'll get ten or fifteen thousand viewers, and she'll be like, "Man, I got like sixty subs today." When she sits mm -hmm. inside like her fucking room, and like she might be wearing like a kid outfit, but she sits inside and talks to like two, three thousand viewers, she'll get like three or four hundred subs some days. But what like, about brand exactly. deals? So Does bullshit. Melina get brand deals? You know, no, 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 I'm saying it sounds like bullshit, but it's not. It's actually true. I would have no, said right. it was bullshit before seeing Melina do it. I would have assumed okay. that like if you're getting Does fifteen thousand view streams, you're getting like five hundred, six hundred subs every day. But Does that's not the Melina, case. Does Melina get brand deals? Is the real question. Because the viewership should matter. Uh, I mean, like you can, but if you're, if we want to talk brand deals, those guys are going by concurrent viewership and everything. It's different. Also, yeah. brand <laughs> deals for streamers, um, depending on what you do, might not overcome like subs and donos. That that depends on your revenue streams. That's a different. That's a more complicated. Not question. to mention certain categories in Twitch where you can get a huge amount of viewers have now been like demonetized by Twitch. Yeah, and right. you're also oh, talking about like you're talking about a way different streaming experience, okay? Because if you're gonna go and do the sexy girl streams, your chat is gonna be in another fucking world of pain that you have to deal with and the, that garbage that you have to sort through that is like mentally taxing in ways that like just chilling and like vibing with your core audience is going to be a way different experience so like could you land more profitable brand mean. deals that will make more money than the subs you might get doing like chill streams yeah maybe you could but it's like that's a totally different like grind yeah okay uh next question is question for zirka thank you sandlers for the five he says why does your pp not work i have clinical depression our next question is about Beto. If security matters, why do broke ass men and criminals get so many women? I don't know what that means. What does that mean? 
Here's like, here's, here's, so here's the the world that you inhabit, John, and the type of men that you breed, okay? Here's the reality, okay? Oh my God. Here's the reality. He, Ready? Uh, didn't didn't men, the StarCraft people get exposed men, for being creeps already? Men oh, draw shit. their, men I'm draw their value. In my Discord like you, right, so let me know when you're, let me know when you're done having a temper tantrum. All right. All right. No, no, I'm wondering. Okay. The creeps Keep in going. your Discord yeah. have right. been exposed, yeah. uh -huh. right? You're on your, what, yep. 8,000th creep in what, your Discord? What, Naruto I'm arc is this? What, what spell are you casting right now? Yeah, okay. When you, when you do that, when you do that little uh, pile uh -huh. on Zerka because yeah. he's breeding creeps, uh -huh. you, you can actually Google the creeps in your Discord. I have zero. Okay. I've, there's no girl complaining hey, in my Discord. Okay. So enough, enough. I banned right, Vosh from my server. He's not on my Discord anymore. No, guys. we're not so talking about just that. We're not talking about just that. No, no, no. Okay, listen. Just listen, that. listen. What I'm saying, okay, is that Woo, men shit. have problems because what we do is we draw validation from every fucking woman around us, even if it's a garbage fucking woman. So what some men do is they will they will ask questions like, why do these fucking criminal guys get with these fucking women or whatever? A lot of those women are fucking garbage. But guys look at those women and they're like, oh my God, those women go for those guys, they don't go for me. Holy shit, like what the fuck? Like my mind is fucked. The reality is that like those women's opinions about you shouldn't matter anyway. Don't, who cares if like trash women work up with, like or hook up with or end up with trash guys? Like that shouldn't be shit that's on your mind. You shouldn't be like validating yourself because those women uh, won't do it or, or, or rather you shouldn't be relying on them for validation or worrying about like who they're dating let, let trash people hook up with trash people you don't have to concern yourself with that shit there's not like an a-list fucking woman or an a-tier fucking woman that's going and hooking up with like some fucking triple homicide felony guy unless it's some girl obsessed wait, with serial wait, killers right that's so what you're basically saying i didn't catch i don't know what you guys are talking about with the discord but so you're basically saying women do not care if a guy is alpha or whatever i, I mean some people can but the women that are like that are a certain way. And if you're not that Sounds type a of guy, Weasley, dude. you can listen, 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 you even if like not even no, 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 no. the problem you? is this is the, this is the problem. You guys, you guys, you want validation from every type of woman. Okay. I know for a, a fact answer, there are, I know, no, no, you're, you're asking for a straight answer. It's not a simple yes or no. Yeah. There are girls that will, that won't ever consider fucking with me. I don't I, like dating or anything because I'm too short. Cause I'm five, eight. There are some girls that'll be like, if you're not, if you're not taller than me while I'm in heels, I will never we're, fuck you. And you know what? Wait, 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 shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Dude, let me finish. Shut the fuck up. No, shut the fuck up. What I'm telling you is that for me, those types of girls, they're not on my radar. I know what they're looking for, and it's not what I have to offer. But you don't sweat it. So when you ask me, like, are there girls? You're telling me girls won't hook up with alphas? There are some girls that are obsessed with that fucking alpha shit. But if, not the, if that's not the type of person you are, you shouldn't worry about those types of girls. They're not the type for you anyway. Steven, how embarrassing is it that... How long have you been doing the sum, sum, sum? We're saying oh majority God. of women would want an alpha. No, alpha not experience. that. Not if you think right, you're an done. alpha. No, no. The majority of women don't no. want that. Type uh, of it's it's not not a no. I'm That's saying, I'm, holy shit, bro. Steven, you are running into a corner. You're just I'm you're not, wrong. All right. Alpha is cringe. I said it way before you, years before you. But that person, those personality traits are more appealing to general. Well, there's some girls that have sharks as pet and an ostrich. If you wanna, no, no. Shut the fuck up with that oh shit, bro. Just if you want to think about like, like if you're going to ask me, do, do women, do the vast majority of women prefer men that are like confident? Then absolutely. The answer is absolutely Oh yes. my God. So but, just but, no, no, but the, there's just a difference. Up, no, no, John, there's a difference. When somebody I'm says, it. I'm if, no, no, if a, man, if a man says some shit like, oh, like I'm confident, that's way different than a man being like, I'm fucking alpha. That is the <laughs> anti-confidence. It is the anti-confidence. Right, he got up and left on his own show. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you in yes. What's up? How tall are you? Five nine. Oh. Yeah. What did you think? <laughs> no, I didn't think anything. I was just because I think John is like very tall. John is fucking has, like, like seven opinions. feet tall. That dude is yeah. super tall. So I just yeah, wanted I'm, to know because yeah. we were having a conversation about short yeah. guys versus tall guys and short guys? how that affects our girls. Okay. Something everyone okay. can cap me if they want. <laughs> Height has never been an issue for me. That it's girl. Never been an issue. She like. Oh. How tall are you? My whole life. Five nine. You're, I know some oh, guys wow. feel like yeah, some you guys look feel huge. Like height you look huge, does, dude. Does you're like up the year for me. But you know what? It's, it's never been my room. Let her finish a sentence. What the fuck? Okay, so my no, roommate is actually my roommate is actually six seven. My roommate is actually six seven. Whoa, and believe it really? or not, yes, my roommate is six seven. Height works both ways, actually. Believe it or not, like, and you know the truth is, is actually it's kind of harder for really really tall guys. You're a straight up liar. No, <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. There I got, once you hit, there that are, shit is short, true. No, no, that shit is true. Guy. Look at Napoleon. It's easier to be a short guy. Listen, you guys talk about height. No one talks about width. Width is more important. Trust me. 
If you there are heights that what are like uh, they're not, there are heights that are appealing, especially right, if that's that, hold on, hold on, especially if that's something like, like guys that are like six one, six two, six three. That's good. Cool. But when you start getting into like the six five and up range, you're like freakishly fucking tall. You're gonna have like issues that are gonna pop up. Like they're, they're, they're not everybody wants to date. Have you? I don't know if you've yeah. ever seen an NBA player in real life. These people are like ducking to get through like tall yeah, doors. Never, okay? It's like, like insane. Girl, you always listen, ask listen, girls, does I can read, matter? Listen, I can read and the, the room when it comes. Yes, too big and girls will say no. Like you well, think the size matter? That aside, you have a tiny penis and you're worried. Chat. If you've got a super small penis, listen, it could be worse. You, you could be like a listen, ten inch penis. Listen, listen. And listen, you're gonna I, have I, a real problem. Okay, listen, that, I, I don't believe that. I don't think. Listen, let me tell you something. When it comes to Respect right, is the queen of cap tonight. Like, <laughs> I have, you know, let me say cool. something. I'm I have never, never. I hear what they say. I, I have for never. Girls in my chat, confirm or not? I've had. We guys, had this conversation when it comes last to week. Physical all presence, the girls in my chat said no. I would not have a. I wouldn't. We even pulled out the tape measure. Bro, I feel like hey, you should do a TED Talks <laughs> with Steven. Shut the fear. So dumb. Sorry, oh, infrared. Wait, see. what was infrared trying to say? You're trying oh, to say something for like ten yeah, seconds. Go. Let me say. Let me say. On the internet, everyone always talks about height. When I'm in a room with a skinny six-two guy, bro, he's not the he's not the bigger guy. I'm sorry, I'm the bigger guy. I'm five nine. That is actually how it works in real life, in my experience. Like height means nothing without width. If you're tall and wide, then it's different. If you're Fred, tall and why are you real, bro? You're such a meme. Well, he's I saying nobody's like gonna, gonna nobody wants to fuck with like Slender Man, wrong. okay? Am I wrong? Go ahead. Imagine Zerka calling you a cartoon. Like you're an actual no, no, meme. Zerka. Bro. Am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? Honestly, Zerka's 6'5. He's not gonna answer you, honestly, because he's freaking okay, fucking gonna, tall. Honestly, for some reason, I don't know why, <laughs> at 5'10 in high school, no one DM'd me, but at 6'5, my phone broke from all the DMs. Right? <laughs> I'm saying, you probably your fucking therapist wondering why you're missing all your appointments. It's a bonus. It's a big bonus. But I'm just saying, when it comes to like respect and all that kind of shit, I've never, I've never been. Yeah, no, no. Look, I'm not saying height is important, all right. But in in dating, where look, and I swear this is not me. That's your phone blowing up from like 999 unresponded text messages because you won't fucking text anybody. Oh, look, my ass is a sure deal. Okay, look, look, yo, look. Oh I, when I go in public, I'm not 6'5. I'm actually Master Chief's height. I'm John 117. I'm actually not 6'6 six, six with the armor, which is seven feet, but I'm not. I'm around 6'6 six, six to 6'7 six, because I wear Air Maxes. Right? Oh my God. I do, for first impressions, I crush Figure it. You can't tell me this is not feet. insecure. Holy Those shit. Like no, 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 no. Steven, Steven, Steven. Look, look, look. Five Steven, wear that shit. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. You could say it's insecure, but Steven, I went my whole life with flats and I picked up chicks. I wasn't insecure. But lately, I want to be... Uh, no, no. I changed. I changed. I said, why do I have a thousand girls text me when it should be a million? So I oh, added, the, I added some dexterity. These add five speed, my ten strength, 20% dexterity, and 5% luck. If you but, get these, you can get it like eight and a half. That's oh, cool. We've met so many tall guys that get none. Right. I've met so many tall guys that get nothing. True, true. Why is that? Dude, because girls don't want to. Girls don't want something that's gonna break them. I'm saying there's so many other. Listen, nobody talks about the ugly tall guys, which is a majority of tall uh, guys in general. Are ugly. <laughs> this is some. Majority, we're on some you know? hard cope right now. Nobody talks shit. about that. <laughs> oh man, around. I feel like I'm in a short man's conversation. Like, most tall guys are ugly as fuck, right? Okay, Hell okay. yeah, guys, true, yeah, fucking no, true. I'm not coping. I'm not coping. Money, right? I'm not coping because if I could choose, I would be two inches taller than I am. Five eleven. Fred, <laughs> you're right. And most tall guys, not just fucking ugly to women, but they. John, make how a tall lot would you be money. if you could be? What would oh, you if be? I could be like seven two. The, the ideal height. The ideal height. Right. If you're in a, I'm in a violent city. So for when I go out late at night. So like I like to be bigger. I like to be way more intimidating looking, right? Because I don't just trust people like you, little hardcore little lib liberals and stuff. But anyways, I think the ideal height for a guy, you I just need. Know. I think six two, six three does great. You know, because I'm a little like overbearing stuff. But, but after six perfect. six, if if you're not broad, muscular, stuff like that, you look like a question mark. Like oh, yeah. it looks like a 
It looks weird, yeah. right? And I hate tall guys because at parties, that's all they talk about with girls. They're like, "Uh, so yeah, you're like really short because they have nothing. They have no game. Listen. They have they have nothing. They're not, they have listen, no listen, listen. And yo, hold on, hold on, Stephen. I know you have an aversion to the word game. Game just game just means what you already have. And it's I feel fun. like some okay. guy traumatized you at a party because he was standing above you. He's pointing at your fucking you. bald spot or something. Would you date a girl taller than you? Would I date a girl taller than me? I've never yes. seen I'll How do that, all yes. of you guys feel about dating girls taller yes. than you? Yes. Yes. I would. I girls are yes, always I fucking would. Yeah. I mean, how tall is me? No, no, hold on. Is, it Natiri, is this Natiri from Avatar? Because I would do it if it's like, babe. Yeah, for sure. But I'm saying, Stephen, just delete the word game with charm. You're charming, charismatic streamer, and you use it to your advantage. Delete the word game, and you're on my side. But you want to look nice to your little StarCraft people. I get it. I get what you're, you're listen, this listen. honest listen. fuck today. Go listen. Ahead. So this is the thing, right? I was I've been at the gym, and there's a guy two times as wide as me. He's on okay. he's clearly taking right? awesome. two times wider, and he's five five. He's shorter than me. I didn't even notice his height that's until I brick, actually dude. thought about it. That's a brick. Being that's a in brick. his presence, that's, that's, that's the bigger weird. guy. The, the, what what the the theme of this show? The yeah. theme of today's the theme of today's episode is fuck muscles. You want to be the businessman in a suit and tie in in the VIP section. That's Listen, what you want to be. I want chat to know, chat, go and test this. Actually find a wide man who's shorter than you. Bro, are He's you high? Are promise. you on shrooms, bro? Today you're like, you bro. usually like talk about interesting stuff on your stream and here you look like a fucking caveman. This is like, all I talk on? about on stream. You don't watch my streams. You know that. You know what they say about you guys who go to failure with every rep that you guys start Both slurring? Both white feeders, John. You, you Stop. Start yeah, you start slurring your words, and you know you, your cognitive capacity has lowered so much. Is it late for you? Like, what's going on, dude? Listen, uh, listen Zerko. You say weird the fuck shit. On are you thing? talking about? You, Everything I've said is literally two hundred fifty IQ shit. May, okay. Uh, yes, all right. We gotta go to the questions. Know. We gotta. Is it okay gotta, to right. date girls taller than you or not? Is this? Are we okay? Yes, it is. The answer is, is yes, but neither of these two guys would do it because as soon as they were seen publicly with the, by their friends with a taller girl, they'd lose it. They'd be like, I don't know this crazy fucking giraffe, and they'd walk away because they'd be so self conscious. Really? One hundred percent. I, would, I don't Steven, think either Steven, of you guys could handle Steven, it. I think you'd Steven, lose it. I think you would lose Steven, it. Ready to get destroyed again? Yeah. Would Would I really call her a giraffe if she's taller than me and a Victor Victoria's Secret model? Six five. You got nothing, you bro. Would, You're you a trash you do debater. It. You do You're it. a fucking you trash it. debater. You do it. Yo, Steven, on, I swear I've never been more my unhinged limit. in my life. This is your worst performance. Are you off your Adderall? Height like, limit. You have on? a height limit. It's you six. Height limit. She can't. She can't be as tall as Zerka, or she can't be taller than Zerka. But why can't she be six five, bro? Bruh, there was a six four girl that why I was. Why is your lip on. quivering, dude? But You're so. <laughs> because. I don't know. I mean, it's like at a, at some point it gets ridiculous. I mean, come on. At some point, it's you don't ridiculous. want it a superwoman. You you don't want it an Amazon beat the shit out of you, right? What is I, this? Is one of simp for Steven. He's donates two dollars. He says this is really cute. Destiny. What is the become a Chad starter pack? I don't know what that is. As in, what can someone start doing today to not only increase their chance with women but live a more fulfilling life all around? If you want to like associate, those are two totally different questions. But like. Find a hobby or get something that makes you interesting. You have to have like something that sets you apart from other That's people. Dog shit advice, dude. That's what, true as why? fuck. True as fuck. Just Bro, get, get a hobby. What does that even mean? Get a hobby. <laughs> get something that find makes something you. Find something in life you're willing to live and die find for. Something, be about. Find something that like, makes hobby, you. Dude. Find something that makes you more interesting than somebody else. Find something. Yeah, you can, I'm, like, I'm knitting. I'm doing knitting classes. What are you talking about, man? Getting a hobby. I, I, hey, listen, it works for me. Hey, don't knock the knitting crew. Don't knock the knitting crew. I'm just saying, oh. that's, that's bad advice. That's why people are like, how do I go meet girls? Oh, I'll just find a hobby. That's not true. It, it, it is true. That. Because here's the problem. Hell not we already went over this. If, if people are There's asking, what can hobby? I do? To, the, the people are asking, what can I do to meet girls? And you ask them, well, okay, well, what do you got? What's interesting about you? And they don't have shit to say? Abstract, Nothing you say to them? And it will come to you. No. no. Abstract no. and it will come to no. you. No. You're not, it's you don't the law just, of gravity. No, it's not. It's the law of if gravity. If somebody doesn't have a reason, something that sets up a part of somebody else, why the fuck would anybody give them the time of the day? 
Especially today with the way that dating and Tinder works where girls got 7 million fucking DMs or whatever. Why the fuck would she look at you over any other guy? If you have swag, you will attract beautiful women. That's a very, that's a fact. What? Swag? What is this, 2010? Get the fuck off the show, man. You're talking, swag you're is act, eternal. You've lost Dude, the fuck. Swag you is sound eternal. dumber than Steven, okay, bro. What the let, fuck let's, are you let's have some Okay, Zucca, reveal one thing I've said. You've never asked, you always you call me stupid, you've never hold rebuttal. Hold on, you, you, you asked Steven, oh, define hobby. What's a hobby? What the fuck is swag? Swag? You're gonna ask me what swag is? Swag is an aura that radiates around you. It's how you move, it's how you act, it's how you are, it's how you carry yourself. It's the charm. What you, okay, this is just embarrassing advice from you too. Okay, it's next funny, question is- Wait, you gotta answer that. You gotta answer that. What do you think they should do? Uh, so the question is, directly ask me the question right now, not because swag is in my head right the now. Yeah, the question is, what can an average guy that doesn't have anything that sets him apart from anybody else, what can he do to get girls? Yeah, increase skill set so you have a better nest, more security. Increase right? skill set? What does that mean? It means get a fucking better job than Chuck E. Cheese, you idiot. Okay, so not good advice. So get a better job. Cool. All right. Yeah. If you work at Chuck I mean, E. Cheese, my dude, walk down the street, find a Fortune 500 company, just hand in your resume. Good luck. Good luck, guys. We, that's your that's your look, Zerka advice. Zerka, look, you just got destroyed. Hey, if you have a response, fit it in 30 seconds so it fits in the clip. It's going on LSF. Go. It's This is all going on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> Steven, you know, I kind of feel like I'm an asshole because maybe this is your bedtime. That's why you're underperforming. Yeah. We'll do another one earlier. Okay, Captain want. ED over here is going to talk to me about underperforming. All right. You talk now you're making fun of ED? Right? Now you're making fun of ED? Wow, so you're making fun it's of a mental nickname. illness? Ed, what do you mean? You act like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You didn't see the show before? Well, I'm not like you, who is always hard, bro. Like, you have a great life. Wow, big deal. Come I'm on, hard because I have to deal with fuckers like you all no, day. No. It makes me hard, my, you know? My, my girl will be watching this, and she'll be like, wow, you are Captain ED. Like, that guy's kind of right in her head. Like, why you do that, I'm sorry. Bro? I didn't mean to bully you like that. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm being sensitive. I'm being a little bitch. Okay. I'm being DGG. All right, uh, so next question is Willpower, and he says, Destiny's full of shit. Hey, relax, Will. Don't fuck around here. This is still a homie. Just he's full of shit. Hot tub streams prove him wrong. What? More people no. need to see girls hot change tub streams into prove different me. bikinis. No. Hot, tub they streams, see. hot tub streams prove me right. Go look at, I think, Andy Fox's sub count. Oof. Don't, you, somebody correct me wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was like around two or 3,000 subs. Those girls make yeah. money because they monetize off-platform. They have other things going for them, like OnlyFans or whatever. <laughs> Are you ever going to answer without squirming? I'm not squirming. I'm telling you. What the fuck? If those girls <laughs> did hot tub streams and that's it. But what happens if she stops doing hot tub promotion for her o OF? Then she wouldn't be able to funnel money into the other revenue stream. But it's not so just, just on subs. Okay, just agree then. What the fuck? Why do you it's, do this it's like, a circular it's, logic? I'm, it's shit, not bro. a circular logic. I'm trying to make sure people aren't misinformed here, okay? Sounds like they're getting uh, a lot of bad information from somebody. Some guy, all right, willpower, don't trying says, to give chat the real destiny. world. I'm trying to give chat the good advice for not being yeah. single, John. I'm Remember. sure. I'm sure a lot of these chatters are coming to your guys' streams after this. Destiny, your girl was clipped saying your league hobby was killing your relationship. What does that mean? Is <laughs> Listen, that a troll? Sometimes you got to put league ahead of other things. You want to be a serious gamer, okay? <laughs> I can't have somebody telling me I need to log off. All right, that's not going to happen. Bruh. That's my boundary. That's a little red pill, dude. You just. You just lock yourself up and play League. Stigma. Stigma. Wow. Okay, actually, this is a good question. I think I'm we should explore this a little Stigma bit from, a, from a, a, a bird's eye view yeah. perspective. Let's let's talk about this because we have a lot of gamers in the chat, and I'm sh this is going to come up for everyone in the chat. Pretty much everyone who's watching this podcast right now is likely a gamer of some sort, and eventually they're going to have a particular moment in their relationship sure. where their significant other is going to ask them to get off their game and spend time with them. So, two-part question: What do you do in general to a do do do, do you, you deal become with it? ninja? How do you deal with period. It? How do you deal with it? Do you deal with it? Is a deal breaker? I want to hear from the guys in the chat specifically thoughts on this particular topic. Okay, guys in chat, uh, I'll go first before chat. I will say if she's asking you, I definitely believe in compromise. You know, especially if it's time. Like time's the most important thing ever, right? So definitely you got to play less video games and and what's wrong with just watching anime with her and it's fucking awesome guys but uh go ahead chat they say be ninja go hard go <laughs> um play co-op with her that's a good one i like that kepler you're really sweet uh big cringe take john all right some of my takes are ad adorable so fuck you i'm not going to be crazy. i'm not, uh, I meant you guys too i want to hear what you guys have to say as well yeah infrared it, go ahead you know, right right i don't know that I don't have that. Here's what I would say. There are things that I would put before. Someone said unboss my game. <laughs> what? 
But it, here's the thing. Yeah, never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here's the thing. <laughs> gaming is a waste of fucking time. I don't know how someone has more fun playing a game than spend time with a girl. I don't know how. Personally, but say that again. I don't know how some people have more fun playing a game than spend time with a girl. I don't understand it. Ask Steven. What was it? What are, I don't even remember what the question is. What is the question? Steve, why don't you spend more time with Melina instead of just gaming all day? Well, you put a pillow under your desk. You do both at the same time. <laughs> okay. Weird, really though, you have to make a compromise. You find a balance, right? You can't spend all your time gaming if they want to hang out or whatever, right? I get bored gaming, man. I don't. Well, that's because you, you don't I... have the you don't have the Sigma grind set mind for yeah. <laughs> fucking League of if Legends, I... my dude. You're such yeah. an interesting case because you're a lefty that socially you just don't agree with anything they say. But but the 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 movement you want is the same one. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Like you must feel like so ostracized. Like I'm the most persecuted streamer on Twitch. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You sound like Train when yo, Train will look me dead in the eyes and be like, I have it the hardest on Twitch. Dude, what, I don't wanna Okay, fuck? we're not gonna talk a lot of shit yeah. on Train, but I get so irritated how much he subtweets, but he won't ever call out names on Twitter. That drives me so crazy. If you're gonna talk shit, fucking talk shit. Like drag some names or shut the fuck up. It, it, it and it drives me crazy when he says it like and I'm on the show. And it's like, dude, I've been canceled by so many different fucking political people. I've been banned from this shit so many times. I've had so many people fucking hate me. Like, how are you gonna sit here and pretend like you're the most person? We don't even drop a single name on Twitter. Fucking subtweet. Bring that What's shit up. All the names. When's the and last time you guys guy wants to know if you play D and D still? Okay, I don't know. Maybe that's that not really is. relevant. Steven, when's the last time you spoke to Train? Um, wait, who was that question for? You. No, I was talking to Sarita, the one that's taking this podcast. Oh, that seriously. was for you. Oh, yeah, sorry, I don't even know what that means. Oh, okay, just a side note, real quick. Yeah, I played D and D. It's fun. Um, I talked to Train. I don't know, a couple weeks ago. He's cool. We're friends. Oh, I think. Okay, good, good, good. Because uh, I think, oh, man, you know what's funny? I don't want to shit on the Scuff podcast, but it needs you. I remember the good old days. Those were the funniest episodes I've yeah, ever I seen. I go on sometimes. It's just like, it's it's hard because <laughs> if I fight with certain people, they'll never come back. And I feel bad doing that to train. So I don't know. Yeah. Like, I fucked the Keemstar thing up. That dude's never going on a show again. Or like, I can't go on with like people like Dream or whatever. So yeah, I try to, yeah. What happened with you and Dream? That's my hero. <laughs> I'm, I just, I don't, I just don't think it would work out, you know? <laughs> I mean, Dreams, dream. No. He doesn't even know who Jordan Peterson is, so I don't. Know. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, okay, I think Dream is CIA. That's what I think. I think he's like a so psyop. So we do agree, though. We can game if you're a guy and you have a yeah. girlfriend. You game, like, well, serious though. Like, seriously, what's the cutoff? Like, because honestly, I have this situation. Like, obviously, I do a lot of music. It's not gaming per se. But I'm, like, I'm gonna just say it. Fuck it. I know this is this is so. Better fucking finish a single fucking What's sentence, John. You're so ADHD. Thank Holy you. shit. Thank you, John. Yeah. What is the balance? Like, literally, like. Dude, Destiny must be the funniest guy I've ever met in my life. There was a part in our today when we we're doing our debate where I didn't let Sarita talk, and he's like, "Oh, let a woman talk, right?" And he, look what he DM me during that. I didn't see it. Hold on. Who could he DM me? This guy's the funniest guy. As she's talking, he goes, See, look at how I let her talk. I'm playing the game. John, I'm playing the game right in front of you, and you are losing. You are losing it. <laughs> how did I not see this, bro? This guy's a fucking demon. Man. This guy's so weird, bro. <laughs> He's deep down too based. If I want to make it work with a guy and he wants to spend time with me, but I'm doing my fucking thing, I can't just like end my stream and like go spend time with him. Like that's the the main reason why I'm single is because I'm too busy streaming all the time, making music all the time, doing all this shit. Here's like the this is the most important thing. I don't know how thing. to balance it. I can't find a balance. I can't <clears throat> date somebody because I can't fucking how the fuck sign out. No, I'm busy. There's, I don't know. There's two things. There's like two, there's a few things of this. Okay, we'll do some serious, some actual serious non insult dumb shit here. Okay. When you meet somebody and you want to try to date, you have to find out what their time expectations are. And there's two different types of time expectations. One is how much time do they need? And two is what kind of time do they need? So if somebody wants like a decent amount of time, but they're cool just like chilling. So like for me, 
I it's it's fun for me and I enjoy like cuddling with somebody on my bed on my laptop doing emails and if somebody enjoys like spending time like that like working on shit and just like hanging out with each other like being in the same room sitting next to each other cuddling doing shit like that I enjoy stuff like that some people don't like to spend time like that together or that doesn't count for them some people want to have like some sort of quality time they want like I want yeah like I want you to go to dinner with me I want you to put your fucking phone down for just 30 minutes and like have a conversation with me some people like that kind of time wait yeah I'm his relative okay so, so, so you have to figure that out at the beginning of the relationship. You have to ask, like, what kind of time are you expecting? And I will tell you, I don't know why, this is worthless advice because nobody will believe me when I say this. You need to find that shit out at the beginning. It will not fucking change. If somebody says that, like, they don't feel like they can give, like, an hour or two of quality time, like, a day or a few hours a week or whatever, they're not going to be able to do it six months into a relationship, two years in. You're not going to change them that way. So at the beginning of a relationship, you've got to find out. And you also need to be aware of yourself because you're going to be willing to commit way more in week two in a relationship than you will in month six. So like, yeah, you meet a new guy and you're cool. Like, oh, fuck it. I'll stop my stream or oh, fuck. I won't record today. Or I'm not going to practice singing today. And you'll do that shit for the first few weeks. But after like a couple months, you're like, all right, I need to get back to working and shit. If they still expect that amount of time, that will never change. So you need to iron that out like in the first few weeks to figure out like, what is your expectation of time? That's that, I think that's what you have to do. Mm. Okay. Thank you for that good advice. Right, we have the next question. And I, I was just going to say it. I know this really harms my channel and Twitch. At some point in your life, you know, 19, 20, 21, yeah, I seek ref refuge from with gaming and stuff. But at some point in your life, you have to say, if you're not streaming and making YouTube videos and clips out of your gaming, how much time is it eating up? You know, if you're doing 10-hour gaming days, mm -hmm. you're on a fast track to destroying your life. Mm. You know, or at least record it. You might record a cool glitch or something. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> You know, you might get a viral clip. I don't know, but uh, try. I, try. I, personally, my favorite point in this entire podcast was when infrared space froze. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. Uh, next question is Willpower. It says, can you ask Destiny if he could go back? Would he rather be a regular StarCraft streamer? Or is he happy with being what he became? He's a happy guy, I think. Yeah, regardless. there are no more regular StarCraft streamers, so I'm happy I transitioned. Mm. Uh, it's a very stupid is, is question, Will. Uh, tell Destiny to come on Scuff next time to debate Kim.com. Who's that? Uh, crazy dude. I, I don't know if Tran will invite me, but I'll see. He invited me to the last couple. I just, there's been other shit going Kim. on. Kim.com, so. I'm inviting you to debate Steven <laughs> right, here. And you don't have to debate. You guys just got to stay, keep your pretty faces till my viewer count increases, okay? Clip it, ship it to him. All right, we'll do it here if, if mm -hmm. Tran doesn't want to do Okay. Uh, Wait, am I missing? Oh, hold on, because I don't know if my shit. If I'm missing anybody's questions, you can ask them again. So somebody just yeah, tried to ignore yeah. like three questions from somebody, or that Sarita is like asking questions. I'm like ignoring them. I'm not trying to. Sorry if that's happening. Oh, you're good. I was wondering oh. if StarCraft is dead, but I kind of think it is dead. I heard it was dead. It's super dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Age of Empires is the new thing. Okay. And yeah. Halo Infinite. Okay. okay. Uh, next one. I'm going to speak for chat. Apex says gaming is a form of therapy and copium. True. Like every, in most activities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, why would I give up my game for a girl that was never there since day one? You sound angry, dude, chill. And who would leave me without a second thought for a better dude, whereas your game would never leave you because the game will never fulfill you like a partner would? Steven, what do you think? I, that's, I'm sorry. Good luck, my dude. You, know, you gave up on that kid? That okay. Guy's, he's lost. He's fallen too uh, far down the hole. Isn't it our obligation to take serious questions seriously? I mean, dude, guys, we have a lot better lives than chat. Maybe okay, wait, real quick. Hold on, you got to wrap this up because I'm getting tired. Okay, I'm old. Yeah. All right, I can't do okay. this 2 a.m. shit every fucking day, right? All right, all right, all right. Okay. Or you don't have to. Yeah, I can you, just leave you. You go on hippy dippy talk circular logic all day, but today is like, oh, I'm tired. I can't help a StarCraft game. I need, listen, you're a high energy person. Like, I need a lot of energy to be active with you. And then infrared at the same fucking call. This is a lot of, okay, this is very <laughs> mentally exhausting. You're you're okay, known we'll you're known you're, we'll wrap up the Steven, podcast. you're known for your Adderall energy. Just putting that out there. Okay. It's not just me. Thanks. Okay. I'm on hour thirteen and a half of my stream. Okay, so I'm just okay. You know. We'll wrap it up with one final question for the chat. Did you have fun? Do you want to see this these guys again? Maybe different people. If not, who cares? You know, I don't really care. Let me know. Thanks for that one, John. Guys, Thanks for coming. Uh, mods, please spam all their links. And Reda, what is the final message you want to give them, right? Your take. Don't... You, Zerkus Chat. It's not too late. 
It's not. So you're gonna date no, one I'm of joking. them? No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Are you ever gonna date someone from your chat, Serena? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, dude, infrared. I already like Loki almost dated someone from my chat. Like this is a moot point, dude. I literally like met up with almost, someone from my eh? chat in real life, hung it with them multiple times. They kind of got crazy, but like that was just because I was a streamer and they couldn't handle that shit. Be a chatter. That's creepy as fuck. Dude, no, I definitely like linked with someone in my chat. They were mad dope and like we had a good rapport. It ended, but like I definitely talked to somebody from my chat for a while. It okay. wasn't weird. Okay. It I was fine. I thought we just, the way I but see that was chat, like years ago now. That was literally the, two years ago. The way I see chat personified is like if I pick them up at TwitchCon and flip them around and I just shake them till the coins come out of their pocket. I don't. Dude, that's because them. you don't care about your chat. You're just about the money. Right, it, right. Well, I'm just saying, are they people? Are they bots? Are they ATMs? We don't know. Infrared, what do you got to say? <laughs> Any words of advice? You look high as fuck. <laughs> Actually, you know um, what? Before this. Final debate. Oh God, the Final debate. DGG is going to love this one because they hate this take. Psilocy I play. Psilocybin is the most dangerous drug you can take. Boom. True. Let's go, True. Steven. Let's go. True. You oh, agree? I get, now. I'm True. not doing this one right now. Dude, no, you LSD. Got, Steven, LSD. Steven, when we did this debate a year ago, there's a YouTuber that proved me so right and destroyed his life. Oh, you, know, you know who that is. Who, Destiny? You know who that is. Uh, Connor Murphy, actually. He, Someone don't me, don't me. Let me tell you something, chat. Psilocybin Wait, is that the one... ayahuasca guy or whatever? Yep. LSD no. Is that that okay. dude. That dude was. That dude is like a schizophrenic dude. That guy was having problems way okay. before drugs or whatever. And that guy was on another level of abusing shit. That guy was doing ayahuasca like every two hours. Oh no, no, he had one hit before he started doing that. He did one hit. That guy has problems. I'm sorry, my dude. Yeah, drugs, okay. Let me let me yeah, say it like drugs. this. Let me All say it like takes this. One. There, Listen, there, hey, is, drugs there, are awesome. Is, okay, just do okay, it responsibly. Yeah, yeah, sure. Be responsible. Sure, sure. There's only one drug that if you hit one one experience, one hit, you need a moderator in your living room so you don't fall out the fucking balcony window, uh -huh. or you need a moderator to tell you, hey man, that's not a fluffy bunny, you're walking into traffic, spiritual and that's guider. a bust. Psilocybin is the most dangerous drug you could take for one-time experience. Period. <laughs> okay. You got nothing? We'll uh, we've it already had this, right? Yeah, we'll do, this will be the opening right. topic for cool, the next cool. one, okay? Infrared, go ahead. What do you have to say? Stay away from drugs. All it takes is once to fuck you up forever. What about cocaine? All right, no, no, no. go ahead, Steven. Drugs are awesome. I'm just doing responsibly, okay? Okay. Hey, guys, thanks for coming. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed. Plus, my God, Steven, you're aging backwards, you know? I don't like you as a person, but you are Why cute, bro. You're aging backwards. Thanks, I try my dude.